Click, buy, deliver. With remote purchasing from the two-time Motorcycle News Dealer of the Year, Colchester Kawasaki. Proud sponsors of Chasing the Racing. Three, two, one, and welcome back to Chasing the Racing, episode 128. And oh we're delighted gosh. to be joined by the one and only Guy Martin. Yeah, How's it going? Go? Hey, all right, bossy, who? Yeah, not too I bad. Th- I think we should tidy something up straight go away. Go on, boy. That is a shit cup of coffee. <laughs> <laughs> hey, boy, well, I'm not very good at making coffee. It's whatever was in the jar. Well, I don't know how else do you make it. I'm only joking with you, man. It's, it, it's dirt in a cup, isn't it, with hot water in it? Even I can't mess up coffee. Don't, don't yeah, you not worry, driver. Not much to go wrong, boy. Not much to go wrong. We're, we're, we're all right, we're all right. Now, go uh, on, then. What's the plan? I must... You, you text me. How long did you, how long ago did you text me? A month or two ago. Uh, yeah, about that. And um, I must say a massive thank you to Matt Late who kindly uh, put us in touch. Yeah, yeah. And uh, he was the last when we had him on the show. He was um, telling us what a fantastic job you've been doing with his engines oh, this year. Always mucking about with engines. I've done them for years. Always mucking about. And uh, he's had always a good year as well, hasn't he? He's done. That. He's won his third championship in a row now. I so he did so, no, yeah. no limits, and then he won the Thunder Sport Championship. No, he's yeah. been a he's a busy lad, is he, he Mr. Does, Late? He, no, he does not stop. And you can see the stuff that he makes. His bikes. You know, I, I do his motors, but the bikes are a bloody work of art, man. Oh, they are work of art. You know, the, 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 the first, you know, the, the more superbike than a superbike. You know, in the in the way that there's very little of an ER6 left. He makes all the subframe, all self supporting subframe. All the yokes are out of a superbike. Everything's bespoke. The trick is trick. So do, do you do you get like a pretty stock engine from him and then tune it up from? Yes. Yeah. I, yeah. I just get a road engine and then we take them from there. That's what. Yeah. Well, you rode that thing at Armoy then. So what was his working motion like then? It was alright. Was... Well, I'd not. <laughs> Yeah, I'm all you, because I think you was there, weren't you? Ooh. Yeah, I didn't see you. I know, I was expecting to see you roll up on the grid and you didn't turn. No, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't. Because <laughs> my sole purpose, because I, 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 I only go racing because I enjoy, I enjoy yeah, it, course, right? Yeah. But then if I was going out in the twins, I'm sort of under pressure, aren't I? and I just thought, I was having a word with Matt, and I, I probably haven't raced, I think the last time I raced was probably Scary's 19 on me, on me triple. Which isn't my triple. It's my B. I I know it's in there, you've seen it in there. It's, 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 it's mine, I built it, but it's yeah. not, it's, it's Les Wiston's. Right. He, gave, like, he knew I was mad into the triples. Mm. Right, like the first ever race back I rode was my dad's triple. Like, I was only like sixteen or something. Let me go around Cadbury, and then what happened? I like I built a bike to go around a wall of death. We did like a wall of death thing for a Channel Four like years yeah. ago, right? And I ended up using um, a Rob North as a base with a T one sixty in it. And then I got all my bits through Les, and then Les rang, rang me about, rang me up like a year after I'd done it, and he says, "Oh, I'm building a real trick triple, like Rob North, but with a narrow back end of the frame, yeah. which was yeah, which was sort of a bit grey, whether it was legal or not. And he says, I'll, I'll, I'll give you the bits, I'll give you the bits, and you can build it. So he, he gave me the crankcases, the engine, and I sort of built it up. It took me like a couple of three years to build it. And that's that's right, I just go on, I just go on race the roads with it. I love it. I tell you love what, it. Chrissy, as far as scrutineering and like how strict the world of motorcycle racing can be, classic racing, there's no there's nothing like it. They are so strict when they want to be. Like if the fairing's not quite the shape, yeah. the, the yeah. spacing and the frame gaps, you, you have no idea. It's like, <laughs> oh, for God's sake, go get a girlfriend or something. You know what I mean? It's a seat unit. But I have got a CRMC cert for it. Right. I, because, yeah, they went through it. They did go through it and it is legal. It's, it's eligible. Yeah, because it's just a real funny with forks, aren't there? And where the clamp is for the triple clamp. That's, that's the real aim with that. And the, the, my, I've, got the, I've got the certificate, so it's CRMC legal. Have, have you done a round of CRMC or...? Oh, it's a long story. I did. I, did, I, went, I went to... Well, it's not a long bloody story. <laughs> I, went, I went to Cadwell, oh, maybe last year, was it? A couple of years ago. And um, I think I did a couple of laps of practice. And did I do one race? And I just... I came and I just thought, what am I doing? What am I doing? I, I was not enjoying it one bit. Yeah. So I just I just rode up the mountain, came round, put it back in the van and came home. Because I, I, I just thought, well, I had to remind myself, I, I said to myself, that, that, I'm, that's the last time I'm going short circuit racing. I did, I did not enjoy it. I did right. not enjoy it. And I just, I love my bikes. I love my bikes. But I just, like, oh, God, bloody hell, man. I don't know what you want me to talk about. I can, I can talk to the bloody cows. <laughs> Come on. Like, I, I stopped road racing when, like, oh, fucking hell, man. Like, I, I, I sort of packed in like 15. I think I was I was like Ulster Grand Prix. I come off, right? I come that off. That was the Tyco BMW. Yeah, it was. It? Yes, I, I. I come off that, and that's proper span of me. That's the problem. I, I broke a load of bones, but that was the most bones I'd ever broken in one sitting, <laughs> right? And I'm laid in hospital, and I'm thinking, fuck me, man, what are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? Mm. And I was, I, I was mad. For, I'm mad for bloody mountain bike racing, right? I've raced mountain bikes for years, like endurance stuff. Mm. Right, and I sort of always wanted the next level of endurance because you sort of got into like sprint stuff, and I was never that good at sprint mountain bikes. But like the the long stuff, I was all right. And I was like, I'd get on the podium, like British stuff. I get on the podium all the times, and I was like, oh, I was all right. And I always went like the next level from that, and like the next level, like the the the, the longest mountain bike race in the world was known as the the, the Tour de Vide, like it's from Canada to Mexico. And I thought, oh, I like the sound what? of that. I like the sound of that. Oh, and, 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 and that was always the same time as the TT. And I thought, oh, I'll do it when I pack in with the TT. And anyway, I'm laid. 
I'm laying in hospital at like, after Ulster Grand Prix, and I'm thinking to myself, you know what? Fuck the mountain bikes. I'm gonna go do this mountain bike race. So that was my goal. That was like that was in like August switch, time. Yeah. That was like August time. And then um, I says, you know what? I'm gonna come and get me sent out of this hospital, and I'm gonna fucking ride my push bike, and I'm gonna go do that race. And anyway, the next year would. So I was like, that was like August time, mm. and I just got out of hospital, kept going, just went went back to work, and just push bike back and then forth to work. And, there's a fucking story about that. But you know, yeah, look at how much time you got, boys. We've how got all the time in the world. No, 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 come on. What so, we'll happened on the push bike? I want to know. No, 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 no. I just used because I, I fucking dragged myself out of hospital and I could fucking start walking and I managed, I was like going to work and I could do like six hours at work and then I'd go on bus like, what the fuck are you doing? And I, and I got to a point where I was going to work and I could do a full day and then I got to, I could bike to work because I used to bike every day. I was like, you know, like two or three hundred miles a week just biking to work and back. You know, so I was like, oh, fucking hell, because so, I'd take different routes to work because I was trained for like these long mountain bike races. Right. And, and I was fucking biking to work one morning and I got halfway there and I thought oh fuck so I biked home and got my van and went to work and it was just like and I crashed me this, that, the, the van that we went and raced in America and we didn't the lap of the he still holds the lap record around the Nürburgring I ended up crashing in the back of a car transport I got blinded by the sun because I'd gone back home to get me pushed <laughs> I get to, to get me van and then drove it to work and crashed in the back of a car transport so that's what sort of <laughs> okay now so I did that and then yeah so that story with that transit van sort of started from me yeah yeah trying to get back push biking after bloody breaking me back and then I'm just, yeah. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, proper, I listened to your audio book uh, not too long ago. I know there's a right. new one that just came out. Well, yeah, we've done. The, um... They keep asking me to do them, you know. I don't want to do them. Do they, know... Not I don't want to do them. It's like, they just keep asking me. And I'm like, oh, yeah. Do you know, uh... <laughs> I have another machine in my shed, doesn't it? I thought, yeah, men. men. You know, uh, week in the mixture. That's the one I listened to recently. Mm-hmm. Proper, proper. You, you know what it's like, you know, when you're up and down the country on the roads, you might, like, say, if I'm going down to London, it's a good, like, six hours in the van. So there yeah. and back does a full book. Yeah. And it's much better than listening to uh, like the radio, or, like Spotify. Or I whatever. like a bit of Planet Rock. I like uh, a bit of Planet Rock. Now and again, yeah. but uh, yeah, I properly enjoyed listening to all of the stuff about Tour Divide. And oh, 18, right. 18 and a half. Oh, it was eighteen. I think days, 18, six 18, hours. eighteen days, six hours. One hundred and fifty mile a day. And that, like imagine, if you do one day, one hundred and fifty mile, you you'll. Yeah. Uh, Gooch and your man be better yeah, a bit yeah, so yeah. 18 days yeah yeah but that, that, you're carrying all your kit you're carrying all your kit and that's what you turn you can't get your head oh yeah that is a lot of miles it's not a right load you know like compared to but i think that's a huge amount of, yeah, it is, the, but course, the, the average like seven thousand meters of climbing a day that's what it was like i think did we, did we, it was like doing everest like 20 times or something so it was so much like that so by the time you got to the end of it like it's brutal you was going down the, the spine you, you, like, you, i didn't really know what the definition of the continental divide was and you know like the, the continental divide goes down the spine of well it starts in canada and finishes like i think it, yeah it finishes like down in the bottom of mexico or something but the the definition of the continental divide is is too you like tell me if I'm right. To the west, the water flows to the Pacific, and to the east, the water flows to the Atlantic. Right, that's yes. what defines the continental divide. So that's why there's so much climbing because you go through all the mountains. Mm. Yeah, what a ride! What a ride! Dear. What a ride! So yeah, I just I just trained my brain down and I just went and did that ride. Down. But that sounds before, like torture. Uh, do, uh, <laughs> before we get on to to the other crack as well, I want to give you your sister a quick plug because we went for a lovely meal in the oh, pub. Oh, Sal! Yeah, she's cracking place and, she's got uh, there. I tell you, what, I had a I had a fling. A, all day breakfast, I think. Right. Dom, oh, Dom that, was the your, that was burger. your sister. That's me. Yeah. Oh my God! What? She's a feeder. I couldn't escape. There's me. Do you want me to take that home? I'm going. Look, love. I'm. I'm done it. He fed. He fed. You paid the bill. Thank you very much. I went mm-hmm. in the park. Oh, it's already being paid. I'm going. This is the world's loveliest village. They're paying your food. And the, the pile of beer. Hey, I was, boy. I tell you what, Kermington. Yeah, she does Kerm- some job there, boy. Kermington's right. very um, like a quintessentially English little village, isn't it? It's beautiful, like a church, yeah. a Green little primary school. That's it. That's it's, it. Uh, yeah. It's um and. Obviously, there's a big connection with the RAF. Yeah, one six six squadron. Yeah, is that um, from the Humber, Humber Airport? Is that what was used during the war? Yeah, yeah, well, yeah. What do they call it? Yeah, Humberside Airport. Yeah, which um, that's yeah one six six squadron were based there, which is like a like, bomber base. Yeah, but there, was, there was loads of them around. Well, like where I work up at Elsham, that was a bomber base there. There was loads of them around. They've got Bomber County. Lincoln was always Bomber County. Mm-hmm. Oh, there was like Ibblestow down there. That was a Spitfire. It was good, you know, but that was yeah. yeah. Where is Guy Gibson from around here as well? To be honest, I don't know where he was from. Right. I know he was based at Scampton. Oh, okay. He was based at Scampton for the Dambusters raid, the um, 617 squadron. That was their yeah. first out in 617. That was like, yeah, to do the bounce and bounce. That's it. That's yeah, it. That's yeah. it. Scampton, yeah, and they stayed at Woodall Spar, but then yeah, the mission settled from Scampton. Oh, that was yeah. the, some clever lads. Didn't he get the backspin from playing golf at a pond? Hey, so much like that. that. Yeah. No, honestly, you know that you know the idea because obviously every time the the bombs were hitting, they were bouncing off and going away from the dam. So he was playing golf. Now, correct me if I'm wrong here, but he was playing golf and he was getting backspin. 
So it was skipping across the top of the water, and when it hit the wall, it created enough backspin to run the Down side the of the wall. dam. That's it. Well, you know, you know the script, boy. You know uh, the script. Yeah, Bounds Wallace. Don't let the stupid name. face fool you. My mother gave play. me this, God love her. Fair play to the job, fair play. Yeah, and fair it's. Um, oh, so I've got one more. Sorry, Chris. Yeah, why is it called. What's it called? The pub? The, the pub? Maribon and Cleaver, it was always called that. But, but the reason I why don't it was own called it. that. I don't I, I, I bought the pub about bloody five or six years ago or something. Because, because it was like, you know, it, 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 I always wanted to keep it as a pub. And I thought, yeah. it was in the village where I grew up. And I looked, you know, I looked like Kermo thrown through. Um, and it, it came up for sale. And I thought, all right, because the pub had been closed for ages. Right. And then I, thought, I bought it. And I thought, right, what are we going to do with it? And I, thought, it was, and I thought, right, my sister, I used to sort of work for my sister in a way. Like, like, this is the position you boys are now at the British Championship. When I was doing the British Championship, I had to work as many jobs as I could just to be able to keep the tyres on the bike and all that. And she used to be the manager of a Chicago rock cafe. So I used to do nights there, in between there and the coal, down working down the coal yard. <laughs> just earn enough money to go race the bike, she said. And, um, and I thought she was working in a nursing home. This was like maybe four or five years ago. And I said, look, I've chance. I bought a pub. I said, first thing is see if we can get it going as a pub, right? Yeah. And if not, then we'll do so much with it. And I says, I'll give you the first opportunity to, to, to run it if you want. And that's what. And then she said she had to think about it because she was she was going to go nurse training. That's what ah, she was going right. to do. So she had to think about it. anyway. She took it on and 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 then she ended up buying it off as a couple of years ago. Fair so it's theirs. It's theirs. Yeah. It's mm. Fair play. Crack fair play. Crack. I'd love to know why it's called Marabon and Cleaver. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, to be honest, I don't. I don't know. I should know that. But why, I? Well, no, but it's one of those. You think? I should say that the some bogan names. Go, get yourself down to the merit All right, Nick, <laughs> <laughs> uh, All right, son. No did problem. You go, did you go to the toilet, by the way? The piss bucket. Very oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Whose idea was that? That's <laughs> an outstanding yeah, idea. Yeah, 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 what is there? There's a block on the wall, I think, with a conrod through it. Is there? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that was an hour one barrel. That that was from that was from V and M. That. You know, well, aim racing. It was that. Yeah. I know yeah. I shouldn't be advertising as a bike in the pub, <laughs> like, but um, that bike was that the one. Which one is it? He's got the BSA triple. Oh, is it? That's my dad's. Is that your dad's no? That's not bike, mine. That's not mine. Mine, yeah, obviously, mine's in there. Yes. That's my dad's. That's that's the first race bike I ever rode. So that's my dad's, yeah, yeah. I think he's got. I think was I maybe the last. No, no, he rode it. He was the last man to ride it. But I, I, yeah, I used to do. I've never raced it. I used to do. I'm not saying that. I raced it Killer Lane once. I did race it once. But I did like I did bees on. He had a bees on. Like, it's like a busy um, BSA and Triumph Owners Club. Yeah, and they used to do. Um, like oh, a, it's, th- uh, it's Thruxton, I think. I've they seen they do it all over, but when when that club sort of first started, they used to do a track day every year at, um, at Cadwell, and that's where I first got a chance. I was like sixteen, my dad let me go I'd go out and have a track day on his on his BSA Pride and Joy. That was Jesus. Yeah. Wait, so what, what were you doing before that then? Motocross kind of? No, was never, it never raced. Nothing. Literally never sixteen. Raced. Yeah, no, there's 16. a BSA. Yeah, no, no, I was. I'd, I'd have my AR fifty. I had my AR fifty, and I used to work all the jobs under the sun when I was a kid, from like being twelve year old. So I just I had a, K, a 986 KS one two five from like being twelve year old or something. And then I got that, and then I got an AR fifty, like when I was sixteen, and then just tuned that to the moon and crashed it and crashed. It. And then that's where I decided to go racing after that. But yeah, I'd not really done anything racing wise. Not you know, never motocross, never done any of that. So you did, you literally ruined yourself straight off. Proper gearbox the wrong way around, the right way around. It's British yeah. for God's sake. It's the right way around. You know, like so, what was your first time like on a big bike, like a modern bike, shall we say? That must have been because like, for me. It was like a fucking rocket ship. Yeah, yeah, I went on CBR Jesus 600, Christ. Mallory Park, CBR 600, 97. X Dave Johnson. Yeah, um, Dave Dean, I think, was the team that he rode for. Do you remember that? Was, this is years ago. I think Dave Johnson used to ride for him. Who, who was a truck driver where I work now. Yeah. And then who else was his teammate? Um, it was my teammate at one bit, James Ellison. Yeah, he rode for Yeah, and then I ended up, yeah. So, yeah, so I bought that 97 CBR 600 and just raced that for a couple of years, crashed my brains out. Was, that, yeah, was, was that like sort of club racing at the time? or? Yeah, at the time, I think I had a race, Pegasus, Derby Phoenix, Pegasus, and New Era. Right. Would you remember any of them? I don't, yeah, no, yeah, I don't I mean, know if any of those are on the go now. No, uh, Derby Phoenix isn't, New Era isn't. It's Mall- Mallory Park, New Era, isn't it? Is, is it? I think it's still going. Right, okay, okay. Mm, I right. presume it is. Derby Phoenix folded a few years ago, though. Yeah, that's it? unfortunate. Yeah, and Pegasus, so... and that was, yeah, like Grantham and Pegasus Club. That's where I sort of did my first race, I think. I think it just crashed my brains out, boy. You know what it's like. Um, so, go on. Uh, sorry, no, I was about to say, it's interesting how you, like, we're, we're gonna, we end up just picking conversations out of thin air. It's like you had no motocross upbringing at all, at and all. yet you've gone and got crashed down the But we'll have to talk about you buying a motocross track down the road. That, <laughs> that, that, like, I, I, yeah. I, was kinda, I kind of expect, like me and Chrissy, it's like, it's on our first rodeo, we're thinking, this is going to be a piece of piss. We're going to talk about his motocross when we're you know, daddy, <laughs> I- da- daddy issues. I want a fast no, bike. No, no, no. <laughs> my dad didn't really want me to race. Really? No, 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 he didn't want to do it. I think he could just see the amount of pain it put the family through with him racing. And then ended up, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah my dad, like, all the spare money we used to go on racing. He used yeah. to have... Yeah, I think he raced right up until 88 and he spanned him centre the 
Scarborough in 88. And I remember being in the ambulance with him. And yeah, right. yeah, just like he'd have a load of time off work. And he was just like a right pain for the family. And I think he probably could see what's the point, what's the gain from going racing. And I could, yeah, it, yeah mm. so he never encouraged me at all, at all into racing. So he, at wait, all. it was just like... Then he put you on his BSA at 16. Yeah, he let me go on that because all I wanted to do was funny about in the shed. And I watched yeah. him build it when I was a kid. I could go in the shed, but I had to shut up and sit on the bench. You know, and sit, well, I got, you know, I was just mad. All I wanted to do was build stuff. All I wanted to do was build dad. stuff. Did we have the same dad? I think I think we have the same dad. <laughs> no, you can, see, you can sit there, but you just don't say out. Check your pot, you down before you leave. Where's <laughs> that's, it, that's, it, that's it, that's it, that's <laughs> it. Yeah, some boy, some boy never really encouraged us, really. Right. But I think you could, see, yeah, and then chance of this bike. Anybody like the chance of the bike? And I put some money towards him. My dad helped me with the last bit Good. to go buy this 97 CB on and then bought it off. And then, yeah, like he maybe come to a few races with us. But then I'd, I'd spent all my money on this bike, right? So I couldn't pass my car, my car. I didn't have my car. My mum used to take me. My mum used to take me. Dad's work. My dad works for him. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, but uh, yeah, I just wanted it. I just wanted it. I really wanted it. Really and then they, they could see that though, couldn't they? So yeah. from club racing, was it a case of did you go sort of straight into Super Stock Six or the equivalent of Super Stock Six Hundred at BSB or? Yeah, it would have been. Yeah, yeah. So I did two years of club racing. Never had any success really. I might have won an odd race, but like I was like midfield. Mm -hmm. But I just, I just loved it. I just loved it. That's all I wanted to do. And then that was the first. That would have been about I think. Two, so I raced 99, 2000, and then 2001, I think, was the first year of... It was called Junior Superstop then, mm -hmm. I think. So I did that. But I didn't know what I was doing. So I, I'd sold everything I had and bought a K1 G6R 600. Everything, right? And then just, yeah, yeah, just turned it into what I thought was a race bike, which at the time wasn't really right, because I, I just had a skitsy one. So you have, you've got to have a skitsy one at every ticket. And I didn't know that you just... plug out the back. That's the one, that's the one, that's the one, that's the one. That's the one. And you don't, yeah, at yeah. this point, was it, were you kind of doing it yourself with, like, a few mates? Or... Yeah, me and a mate, me and a mate, me, me and a couple of mates. Um, I mean, Dad had gone to an odd meeting with us, but, you know, it was just all me. It was just all, I passed my test then. So we had a bloody wobble box, you know, caravan on the back of the tranny and just... Wobble yeah, box. wobble box. And my brother always calls them wobble box. We call them wobble box, yeah. Yeah, just, yeah, and just go racing. Just go racing. I was shite. I was shite. I just cracked my brains out. I was shite. Mm -hmm. I was shite. But I loved it. I did not give a monkey. So, I did not give a monkey. So it's interesting, like like Chris is saying, you know, like when you, you took that step up to like British level. Yeah. What was your drive to like, you could have gone crash your brain out at club level forever. You know, if you just went, I just want to go out riding. But you yeah, obviously had a draw to go to that higher level. What? Yeah, any... to, to be honest, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, I just, it just think happened. It, because it, it's not like I'd, I'd sort of reached my peak at club racing where I was winning everything. No, no, I was just like midfield. I was like, if that, right, yeah. at club racing. And I just thought, oh, that sounds mean. I just wanted a challenge. Oh, yeah, that sounds mean. I'm, yeah. I never made out I was any good or anything. So I just like, went out a go. And how, how did it go at first? Like, first crashed year? my brains out. Just yeah. crashed my brains out. Yeah, I don't know. I must have crashed like 15 times in the first year. Yeah, summers like that. I can't remember the number, but it was something like that. I just crashed my brains out. And Jeez, just all my money fixing bikes, fixing bikes, working jobs, just working wherever I could to earn enough money to go fix the bike and what, go to the next race. What age were you at this point? So a full time, full time work at this point. No, yeah, no. yeah, 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 yeah. I'd, I'd have been twenty one, maybe. Right. Twenty one, twenty two. Yeah, summers like that. Just summers crashing like your brains. And just crash my brains out. At, like. at this point, had I loved the... it. I fucking loved it, man. I loved it. That's all I wanted to do. At, oh. at the... And you sort of get into that doing the British Championship. You sort of. It was a form, in a way, of indoctrination. You know, that's you just seem that is if you're going to go racing a motorbike, that's how you do it. You go to that event, and that's how you do it. And it costs you this much money. And I, I was willing to pay that price. I, I accepted. Yeah, yeah. This and just so well organised, one. And it's just that's what I want to do. That's what. Yeah, that's what I want to do. At this point, were you considering road racing? Like, no, 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 no. Fucking TT. I just thought. Yeah, that's a, just a different sort of riding. That's a different sort of riding. That's not. That's not. You know, I, I, I don't know because I was maybe in that bubble of British Championship, and I sort of. I would start. You know, I wasn't. I was still shite. I was just. I might have had a top ten or two, maybe, maybe. But I was. You know, I was. I was you know, you know, I want. I wasn't doing anything. I wasn't tearing any trees. I, you know. I'd, um, but road racing then. I just. You know. Oh, I, I don't know if we because I was in that bubble. You was maybe made to look down on road racing, and yeah. I think that was generally the case. Mm -hmm. I think I, I, in that British Championship thing, that's if you went racing at the highest level, yeah, that you was in that BSB paddock, and then anything outside of that, you look down your nose at them. And I just generally thought that's how it was. That's how it was, and I saw, in, in a way, in a way, I suppose that's what I was doing. But I, you know, I, was, I still wasn't fucking strutting about. I was, I was a W, no M three O three GRA. So that was a tranny van we had. That was my dad's works van. And then we had a shower, shower bang behind it. And then she just got racing, all in off the side. I don't think you're allowed them now, are you? I don't know. Who was, <laughs> was telling me? Who was telling me that the other week? Yeah. What, off the side of your van? I don't think so. Shut up, They're man. a British championship. I think that's right. That's right. Who was telling me? 
I do, I do a load of boys' engines for British Super Sport, and they were telling me there's some rules on what vans you can have in the pits, and I thought, all right, yeah, mate, mate. So I'm, like, I'm not joking that. They told me that. This was this one long ago. I've just I, bought I, I'm not in for my van. I'm, I'm not like... involved. No, it's a wobble. You're not allowed to own and off a wobble box or something. I, th- I think that's like, anyway. I, ah, that makes they sense. They were telling me this. They were telling me this. And I thought, all right, fuck. I, I don't get involved with the racing at all now. In other words, I just do engines. Mm-hmm. You know, I don't get involved. I just thought, fuck. We, how, how many years were you at the BFP? Two years. Two years. Two years. Right. Did um, you just run out of money? Was no, it? no, no, I had a falling out with um, Stuart Higgs. I think that was in your autobiography. Yeah, it was in, me, it was it in my book. Yeah, it was in my book, yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah, like, sort of fair play. Was fair it play. Something I was just, you know, I'm a dickhead, young, dumb, full of cunt. Was it so, <laughs> this, I, I read that years ago, but was it something like uh, you'd went to speak to him and he wasn't looking at you, so you put, you put his laptop down? No, no, what happened was, it was my fault. I, I fucking, I, that, to be honest, I must have been doing all right. Because I finished second at a junior superstar. And there was like a load of doers. So I was sort of, I was sort of getting, this was like my second year, I was sort of getting there. You know, even though... Like I say, I'd not done anything before. I'd just done a couple of years of club racing and gone and done that. And I sort of, I was sort of worrying the podium. And that, this one me, and I finished second. I thought, like, oh, fucking min, best thing in the world, min, min. And then they did the, oh, fucking I'd jumped to chicane or something, right? But I'd lost the place and I'd lost time, right? But this was a common chicane to jump or something. And they'd said the rules at the start of the meeting. If you jump the chicane, they'd give you a 10 second penalty. But if you jump the chicane and you lost, you didn't gain anything, then you was all right. Anyway, I, whatever. I was right, and they were wrong. <laughs> you know, just I was a young dickhead, and I had to go to a fucking. Like I had a to go to a like a hearing. This was at the meeting, mm-hmm. right? You had to go. To, I didn't have to go to. I, it's a long time ago, but this is like bloody twenty year ago. This I've slept since then. Hey, I've slept. Since. So like, and then so I had to go and appeal. So I appealed, and then I can just remember coming out, and I didn't win, obviously, right? And then Stuart Higgs said to me, um, "Did you get sorted in a smart way?" And I just fucking smashed the laptop. I called him. <laughs> <laughs> and like, oh, I think I've shook hands with him since because I fucking had a lot of water under the bridge between then and now. And it's been twenty years, and you know, hands. you know. But no, no, that was because I went back to do the British when I rode. Fuck, I can't remember who it was I rode for. But I sort of went back to do the British, and I sort of made a point of going. You got a bit of man and shook, shook his hand, and he was spot on. Yeah, yeah, way he was spot. Look what he's done. Look what the championship he's done. You know, I'm not, I'm not into it, but like, look what he's done. Fucking mm. hell, man. Do you, well do you uh, kind of follow it at a distance, or do you, do you watch BSB? No, do you no. Sort of just have like an idea of like how the Neve lads are getting on and stuff? Yeah, and... I do because I helped them. Like I've helped them for years. Do I did the motors for them and then they rode a couple of my bikes. I think. A few yeah, years uh, ago. Tim was on the Super Sport bike and Tom yeah, was on the Suzuki. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that's what there was. One was the Steve Wacky. Yeah, Rice, yeah. And one was the Nigel Racing. That's the one. Yes, yeah. Oh, get it right. That's the dogs. We named them after the dogs. Yeah. Yeah, Steve and Wacky. You know, Mori Wacky. We took it off Mori Wacky. Yeah. You know what? I don't think Mr. Honda would like that. Because I rode for Honda. I rode for Honda and I wanted a Steve Wacky in a Nigel Racing Corporation. And like one, and I did have a Nigel Racing Corporation sticker on my helmet. And like they wouldn't really say, but Harvey wasn't impressed. He wasn't impressed. So I did I did take it off to try and keep the peace. But just like the dogs, in it? It's just the dogs. I just make stupid things up. So, yeah, yeah, so I, I sort of, to be honest, I gave him the bike. I did the motors for him. But I, to be honest, I want. I sort of didn't have any interest, to be mm. honest. I know it's sort of. I'm not being disrespectful. I didn't have a disrespect. I just, I just, I fucking got into what I do. Busy. I got mm. into what I do. Like I'm busy, but I fucking, like, I'm into whatever I'm into. Like mm. I sort of done that for years, and that sort of, mm, yeah, yeah. I, I, I fucking, I, we could go, we could go then to the story of me crash at the Ulster and realizing, <laughs> and me push bike rides in America. We could go to that and then say I did that push bike ride and then realized I've, I've retired. I sort of packed in at 15 because I got me sent out of hospital. I got on that push bike race. And I did that push by race. You have a lot of time to think, boy. You're like you're riding 20 hours a day, right? Yeah, right, just yeah. sleeping in a ditch. I had a lot of time to think, and I just thought to myself, you know what? I should have retired four years before then, right? Because I didn't realise I wasn't enjoying it. I didn't realise that until I stopped doing it, and I stopped doing it, and I was like, oh shit, I want to enjoy it. Mm-hmm. Why did you make yourself do that? Why did you put yourself? And the only reason I put myself through it, right? Because I was sort of semi-competitive. I was all right, right? And I, I could be semi-competitive without doing anything. Right, I could go to work, do all my job, do everything that I do, just turn up and race, and you'd be there or thereabout. But to be honest, I didn't enjoy it. I didn't enjoy it, and that sort of gone. Where do where do we get to? Where do, where do the first bit we got to? What what got me onto that? We're not enjoying the racing. The Tim, Tim Tim and Tom, Tim, Tim and Tom, Tom. Yes, and, yeah. and and not being that bothered about. Oh, I was always bothered about the engines. How's the engines going? Yeah. I'm always like I'm mad for that. I'm mad for like fettling and fucking about. And no. then, but then doing that push bike race made me realise the only reason. I started racing because I like fucking about in my shed. Mm-hmm. And now I've gone back to where... It started. Yeah, which is... I'm now... I, I think I'm at the the absolute pinnacle of fucking about in a shed, doing the discipline that I'm doing now. So really, I've got... that that, that, that Yeah, I was mad into it when I was doing it, but now I've come out of it. Like, oh, yeah. That, that, that I sort of look down on that now. Like, now, 
the fucking men are fucking trying to do 300 mile an hour in a mile. Like, that's what I'm into. That's what I'm into. Oh, yeah, that, yeah, them fuckers fucking about on mopeds now. No, 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 no. I'm trying to, I'm trying to do something <laughs> serious here, boys. I'm trying to do 300 mile an hour. You know what I mean? Without being disrespectful, that's how shit I'm, 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 not I'm, that's, I'm, I'm into not whatever I'm into. And like then, oh, yeah, I thought that was last week. I fucking now, fucking now. Uh-huh. Yeah. On, on that topic, how's the, the 300 mile an hour? Oh, I'm bl- I've, all I've done, I've had shit, yeah, I've just blown stuff up. Right. All I've had just blown stuff to death. Is that more, is that um, purely an engineering thing or is it purely a skill thing or in terms of riding at that speed or is it a mix? That's a good question. I would say, nice. but I got wrapped in a Triumph 400 mile an hour job. Right? Yeah. They asked me, um, like they ploughed a shit, like the, uh, Triumph America uh, took on, not took on, they said, right, we need to try and not reinvent, sort of revitalise the Bonneville name, and I know what we're going to do, because the streamlined motorbike, no motorbike has ever done 400 miles an hour, right? Like the, the Rocky Robinson, the, the, the um, Ack Attack, that's done like 370, 373, I think it's done, right? And trying to, no one's ever done 400 miles an hour. I know what we're going to do. We're going to chuck a load of money at this project. We're going to be the first bike to do 400 miles an hour at Bonneville. That sort of reinvents the Bonneville name, right? So Triumph America was doing this, um, and they've got like five million dollars down the road, something, some sort of number like that. Jason DeSalvo was driving it, because you sort of it's, it's driving and riding. It's a bit of a grey area. What, what are you doing? Um, and, and nothing. They hadn't achieved anything other than blowing a load of stuff up and had a fire. You know, but he's obviously a fucking mega doer, isn't he? He's mm. a mega doer. But just there's so many. Um, you know, no one's ever done it, and I thought Triumph. Like, what, what a great firm. What yeah. a great firm, right? But I genuinely thought, I suppose as they could, they could write a cheque to 400 mile an hour, right? Yeah. But I think they got into, um, they probably got, so, so the Jason DeSalvo, Triumph America was running it, right? Yeah. Jason DeSalvo was riding it. The like, however many millions of dollars in and Triumph UK said, hang on, how much more, what, what, got to, what we've got to show for it? Um, and Triumph, so Triumph UK, took out, so Triumph UK took over the project. I was wondering that. And that's I... where I got involved. So they said, right, because Jason DeSalvo didn't really want to be involved anymore because he realised he, 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 he realised how risky it was. Yeah. Because it fucking was. Because mm-hmm. I just thought, you fuck off, mate. You're going in a straight line. Fucking what's what, just open the yeah, floor. no, this is the, inter- this is, this is the bit that's getting what's interesting. Fucking what's the fastest you've been at the moment? In the trial? No, in, in period. Oh, two- uh, officially, 276, unofficially 282. Right. But the Triumph, like, however many millions are chucked at that, I did 27... No. Yeah, 273 in that. So I've gone faster in my home-built bike than that. But I say, yeah, the my higher booster. Yeah. Can we can we talk about the risks side of it? So your your, your eyes lit up when you said that. So Holy let's let, let let's let's have a go. Holy on. fuck! Holy! I've, got, I've seen. Come on, excuse my friend. No, no, I've seen crack a, on. A son. YouTube video of you in something where it was at Bonneville, where it, it's an onboard thing. And yeah. I think you're only doing seventy at the yeah. time, and that looked terrifying. Yeah, it's wild. So, it's wild. Well, I, I tried to ask me to get involved, and I thought, fucking, what's to that, mate? Yeah, yeah, mint, mint, mint. And I didn't get paid, but I could take mates with me. So I used to, every time I used to take a couple of mates with me, it's mint. We used to go in there, it's mint, it's mint. And I thought, I'm not getting paid, it was mega, it was mega. But they did lend me a Triumph Tiger 800, which I raced on Maybell Beach for a couple of seasons. She was mint. Why not? She was mint. She was mint. She was mint. She was mint. Right. Um, and we did two, like, we went fairly quick, fairly soon, really. Like the first sort of time we was there, it took a lot of getting used to. So we spent, like I got used to it within a day, right? And like the day after, we sort of pushed on, tried to work through some problems. And then we got to like 273. But there was a load of shit that I could, I could go on to the life about rules of how fast, how soon you can go. <clears throat> and you've got to have a license to go this speed. So I wasn't legal to go that speed, that that that, that speed, that fast. So they put a, a limit on the bike. Yeah, yeah, what, you've got to have a license to go above a certain speed. So, so what do you mean? Like, like so is it yeah, like the qualification FIM. kind yes, of thing? Yes, so yes. So you yes, click that speed, yes. you get and then, ticket, right. But then when you're going to go above this speed, that means you've got to wear this different clothing. Fuck. Yeah, yeah. Which Why is, you yeah, just wear the fast stuff and go off for a spin? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, but it's, it's, yeah, it's not... Um, the insurance uh, thing. Uh, it, I suppose, I suppose. But it's, yeah, like FIA, FIA, whatever it is. Um, but I did that two times straight, and I fucking, from that moment, holy fuck, I was hooked. Like, you just thought, it's going in a straight line, but Jesus Christ, there is so much to it. You, is you, there a point where, like, for, as you're going up, you know, you get to, like, 180 and then 200. Is there a point where it's, like, you feel like you're kind of going into a new dimension, like, like where it... No, because you're in such a massive open space. 
you're in such a massive you don't really get an idea with the speed but it's just you need so much feel from everything to but the, the, the problem is with that is, is it's just that right at the front of it right and then the rear wheels here it's like 35 foot long right so it, by Jesus the time that back wheel stepped out i thought you don't know about it because you're sat on the front wheel so you just and then they tried to lean so much on the traction control and just because i was trying to ride the thing off the boost until i got to top gear and when we got to top gear then i'd try and bring it into the boost Right, but then they didn't want me doing that. They just wanted me to roll it wide open and, and let, let the traction it. control sort it all out. But then we ended up putting it on its side a couple of times, and and then oh, they just could tell. Do you know? Do you know? Before you go, if in terms of like the risk, do you do you actually do you think of it like numerically well, about this is the okay. risk of of it going seriously wrong? Or yeah, 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 definitely. Because I fucking love that's why I do all that. That's where, why I do all that. Well, 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 we did two seven three with loads of issues. Right, we went back probably two months after then, and I fucking wrote a will. I wrote a will because I thought, fuck, this is going to get messy. And I fucking love all of that, but I fucking need it right will. I wrote Leave a will it today. to Nigel. <laughs> Nigel got a lot. <laughs> Nigel got a lot. But I fucking like, you know, I fucking want me in my laves and my, you know, all me, I mean, Paul, that stuff that I love. It. Was that the it was most nervous it. you've been before? Yeah, it was, it was, it was, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but then we got out there and just everything went wrong. The weather was shit and then there was this wrong with the bike and there was loads of stuff. And we never, and to be honest, since then, we've never had a proper, a proper go at it since then. And then, like probably two years ago, try and started making the right noises about going back again. But I, now the bike's in the museum, so nothing's happening. And, and then that's why I'm doing what I'm doing because I I got hooked on it through my involvement with Triumph, right? In going fast because I've never had anything like that. And the right, aim was to buzz. do 400, 400 miles an hour. That was the 400. goal. 400 miles an hour. 400 miles an hour. No one's ever done 400. But that's a streamlined motorbike, a streamline, which is nothing like a motorbike other than it's got two wheels, it's got a motorbike engine. Okay. But it doesn't have to have a motorbike engine. It doesn't have to have a motorbike. But even but even, this is this is the thing I'm thinking of right now. We all race motorcycles. We are with the with the marshmallow bit on the top of a metal rocket, aren't we? Yeah. You eject off that at any speed. The the marshmallow can only take so much impact. That's yes, the truth. Yes, now, yes. from that, it's a sent. Correct me when I'm wrong. <laughs> when I'm wrong, like there's a roll cage in it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, in my mind, it's being totally naive to it. What you're pressure? Safe in theory, it's a bit like you're gonna have a G's and everything. If it gets in a barrel roll, like you could see like 100 G in a barrel roll, that kill you. There we are. That's yeah. that's the risk I'm talking yeah, about. Yeah, yeah. 100 if it gets in a barrel roll, yeah, yeah, you'd be dead. You'd be dead. And that's that's why you know, I knew all of this before I started it, and that's why I do all these stupid things. Do you know, like that's say when you were doing yeah. the TT, you, on record you said like numerous times that it was, at the time, in your headspace, you felt it was worth uh, risking yes, your life for. Yes, yes, yes. Are, are yes. Only... I only said that early on. Yeah. Yes. I only said that early on. Are you on. in the same mind space about this? Is this the trend of mile worth... Yes, it's the, I'm willing to pay that price. That's you, you, If you're not willing to accept that, then don't bother doing it. Don't bother doing it. But then no, 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 that, the 400 mile on the average job came to an end about three years ago. And obviously, I could never afford to try because you need you need a, a bottomless pit really you don't really know like try i think that's what trying for uh, realized shit this isn't as easy as we, we can't a, just write a check put, for 400 mile an hour put a number on it can you put a number on it no. like a total no, if you no, no. if someone said like multi 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 trillionaire comes up and just can't right guy for the shits and giggles how much do you want to build something from scratch yeah well, well i'm on with it now i'm i'm riding a helicopter engine thing now for Alex How McFancy. much more money do you need? <laughs> well, well, no, no, I, 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 we don't know. No one's ever done this. It's yeah. sort of a bottomless pit. Is it going to be a million? Is it going to be two million? I don't know. Is it going to be under that? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Do you know, know. The, the whole Bonneville thing? Is the is the air quite thinner up there? No, it's not. Like, it's only like four thousand meters. It's not that high. Is it four thousand meters? Yeah. All right. And what yeah, about? Yeah. And, and is the is the I mean, is that the perfect place to do it just purely because it's flat? No, it's not. It's not now. It's not now. Um, Bol Bolivia in South America is the perfect place now. Right, okay. Bonneville has been used that much because of what, what they've been taking the salt off the salt flats and getting the brine out of it, which is used in some process for making something. I'm not sure what. And they've been putting the the water back on there, but without the salt in it, and it's knackered the salt flats. So really, Bonneville now is knackered. It's all right for doing... Like medium speed stuff, but going fast on a bike with something until you need it perfect. Man. Yeah, you be so the, the, for the foreseeable future. Bonneville is knackered. I'm, I'm not sure many people, many people wouldn't want to hear that, no, but no, Bonneville no, is knackered. But going back. Shame, so though, so now, it? if anything is going to happen, it's got to happen in, in Lake Garda in Australia, or is that similar sort of altitude as well? I don't know what that is. I know, I know. You, whatever you are, you're a four-hour flight to anything, to any civilization where you do it in Australia, um, and the other places. Bolivia, but then you're miles away from anything in Bolivia, and then you've got to get all the infrastructure out there. If you're going to go out there, you need to get all your because stuff's going to go wrong. You need to get all your tools, your machining gear, everything out there. It's just going to be a right muck on. It's going to be what, a right muck on. What history books? There must be history books for those places, though, for the speed records. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My God, you're well, well, yeah, no, 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 Bolivia. Bolivia, Bolivia is only a recent. Yeah, people so, have only recently started going there over the past. 
And the, the only reason that's sort of a, a, a realistic option now is because of the Chinese. The Chinese have put all the bollocks in there so they can mine the lithium. So that's the only reason. They, they, just like a, it's in the union, union, I think that's how I'll say it. Um, like salt flats, right? But there's no civilization at all there. But right, the Chinese knew they could get the lithium out there. So that's right. why they put a load of infrastructure in there so you can start. So there's, there's a bit of civilization there. So that sort of made it realistic where you can fly in there and you can get your bike there. And then, so that's, but obviously, Triumph don't want to do that because that's. Bolivia, it's not bloody, it's not Bonneville, is it? <laughs> but that's you know, the it, whole reason it, was it, behind just to sort of re, 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 re you know, That's like putting the a, a TD on a different island. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, it's it, not. It, it, it it's not the history not. Like, yeah. No, but it's. So, so that's so that. All of that is. Aside, I'm, I'm not. Yeah, yeah. yeah we're course, still yeah. planning on doing that, going to Bolivia with this other project I'm involved in. But it's only that's just sort of ticking over, slowly <laughs> ticking over. So, well, then that's a 400 mile an hour with the streamline mode. But what I'm trying to do, my personal job, at yes. a bike in my shed, is yeah, the 300 mile an hour. That's what I mean. No, but still, but you're talking about Jays and you're, like in that in that bike you did only 200. <coughs> sorry, only 270 odd, 300 mile yeah. an hour, and that's with no shell. Is that correct? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's semi fair. It's it's, it's fully semi, semi fair. Yeah, that yeah. Is... yeah, but it's just yeah, yeah. But the numbers with those things are mental. Like you, you boys, those super bikes are just these things are another level. They're just like, like you can't really. Like I've learned a shit like through. Yeah, like I can tell you the start. Then what sort of set it off really? Like I, I I raced my turbo bike at Pikes Peak, fucking like six years ago or something like that. Seven years ago, and I helped. Um, I used to get my turbo bike through Jack Frost. It was like the the, the bedrock of turbocharging in the UK turbocharging motorbikes he's, he's the man I've learned so much through him right and I was I was at the northwest one year right and I was off to, I went to go see Jack to go pick a set of pistons up because he got me a set of pistons for me my, my Pikes Peak bike and he just finished um, like a K5 GSX half thousand bog standard road bike with a blower on it and he said oh, I've just finished that get a go on it and this was like I've just been finished the northwest I know I've just been at the north, but what's the northwest like? Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday. It's Tuesday, it? Thursday, Saturday. So I think this yeah, must have right. been like on a Wednesday. So I must have been riding the Taz like superbike, like with Carlos Fandango superbike on the Tuesday, and then the Wednesday I had the Wednesday off, and then went to go see Jack to go buy some bloody turbo pistons for me bloody project. And he says, "Oh, I just finished his K5, like old school K5, right? Just get a go on that, get a go on that." And I took that down the road. Holy fuck! That that my motorbike sort of future was fucked from that point on, right? I I'd been the day before I'd been riding like priceless factories Probably. Suzuki superbike at the northwest doesn't get any faster right what a weapon that thing was right and then I, I, I get from that onto a bog standard robot what looked like a bog standard robot with a blower <laughs> on it I, like blowing a bar into it that holy fuck blew my mind and I thought right I don't want any of that anymore all I want to do is that did you get scared the shit out of me just wild where you've, you've there isn't words for it boy there isn't words for how I fast they seem and slow. that was so much yeah 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 <laughs> yeah it's like yeah, just like, like, uh, yeah where was it where did I go what I just it was such a night Cosmo was it last year I think I did 276 at Cosmo last year and Rutter was there on his RCV the the the, the, the Honda yeah, the Honda yeah. thing and I let him have a go on my bike he let, go, he, he let me have a go on his bike and it, it just such a nice thing to get on a bike and just hold it flat out I just it was just oh it's just so <laughs> nice because that thing I let Rutter go on that thing of mine and he was like holy fuck but it's just the numbers just the numbers of those bikes they're just, they're just in another league right he probably beat me with that sort of RCV thing he'd probably beat me to 80 mile an hour Probably because really? my thing's wild. Just why you can't manage it. You can't manage the thing. Do you have to have specialist dynos? Because you, you can't like the turbo slip on the dyno, like a regular no, dyno. No, no, my, my dyno. Yeah, yeah. You have your own dyno. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah to to, put it up to like, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the way to cure it. Build a turbo dyno. Yeah. No, it's not. It's, it's just like a Dynajet three AI. It's just really, yeah, yeah. And it, it's, and it's it not... picks up the turbo. All right, yeah, 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 yeah. Just strap it down. Strap it down. But yeah, you, you you can't pull the big boost on the dyno because you can't hold it back for long enough to make the boost. That's the problem. I will never see the boost on a dyno than the boost I see in the real world. Fuck. You know, and you know, so really, we, we're guessing at the numbers that the things are making. We're sort of guessing because you can't get them. You can't get them dynos to hold back. There isn't a big enough brake to hold them back to be able to build a boost up. You know, over a long enough period. Holy That's the thing. So it just gives you gives you an idea. Gives you an idea. Gives you an idea. But yeah, that that bike of rotors. Right. he'd probably beat me to 80 but by the time we're doing 100 or he's doing 100 I'm doing 200 right because the most sort of longitudinal G you'd see with any Grand Prix bike would be like 0.8 longitudinal G you'd see that between 60 and 80 mile an hour right but I'm pulling 0 0.8 between 220 and 250 right yeah so it's like the, the numbers yeah yeah and I'm like like at 120 I'm doing like 2.2 .2 longitudinal G like the numbers the numbers <coughs> see the telly will never ever do that justice you'd only watch them on the telly gun I, that looks fast, but yeah. like, the way that the, the number the numbers just blow your mind. Like just they just you, you can't really unless unless 
unless you rode one, yeah. then we'd be sat, we'd be comparing. In terms of the longitudinal, the force, in, on, on a bike, I've, uh, the, well, like say super bikes, the acceleration doesn't feel like crazy. Where when you're in a car, if you do the same thing, I don't know if it's just the f- yeah, because it's the force like on your shoulders and you you almost feel like you're getting like pushed back into the seat. So even if you do, had the same acceleration, it feels a lot more in yeah, a car true. to me. Yeah, true. Yeah, true. It does, doesn't it? Yeah. You've got that uh, Volvo thing, haven't you? Yeah. Have that's, you still got that? Yes, I've had that years. Out. Have you seen that? Is no, it I a Volvo seen that. Vox? I'll show you that that's in the shed. Yeah, yeah super. Uh, yeah. yeah, that's, that's... eight hundred horsepower. That. That's a weapon. <laughs> that's that, that run that on alcohol and all. That, that, that doesn't look like. Do you know if you didn't know what it was though and you just seen it like in town and, and then you put your foot down <laughs> this I mean. is wild but it's not that well it is yeah yeah but it's, it's not it's, it's so usable you know, I've done like thousands of miles in that really? it blows up fairly regularly I've blown up for two years though <laughs> but it's, it's still a big number but it's like quicker than a Veyron like from a, from 100 to 200 it's quicker than a Veyron so it's fast it's <laughs> imagine the AA picking you up I know <laughs> could have a job actually, what a pain to work it's a bloody pain there but yeah I, I fixed everything on it but I didn't build it initially a bloke with Mattias Vox built it in Sweden right. it works for Connie's egg so a load of gear out the back doors from did he also Street. have a hand in building Frankenstein Paddy it's, it's, it's some piece of kit boy it's some piece of kit I'll show you it's in the shed, it's Great. In the shed. have you still got that the Merlin engine on, on a trailer no, I sold that. Oh, did you? Oh, well, I sort of, I sort of sold that because I had a bit of, yeah, it was a bit of an, an honour for me. I sold it to you, you Andy Cow, who was like the, the brains behind. Like, he worked at Cosworth for years and worked at um, HPP. Like, um, they make the Mercedes Formula One engine. Oh, so right. I sort of, I got to meet him. I knew he wanted an engine, so I somehow sort of got a message to him and he rang me up and says, yeah, do we did a deal with that engine? So it was an honour for me to sell it to him. Yeah. Fair enough. So yeah, yeah, what a boy. What a boy. So you know, I sold it to buy a bloody a valve seat machine. Because I sort of, I do everything with engines, but I don't do. I also sub valve seats out. So now I do everything. I've got like a Rottler SG7, so I'll put a real trick valve seat machine so I can do everything. Yeah. I know yeah. I'm coming for a refresh <laughs> next year. I know it's yeah, a, just a, 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 about. But I don't. I try and I do. It's, it's for me doing me. I do do customer uh, customer support yeah, a lot. Wait, just for me own shoes. Stuff. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Bet, you I know bet. what the motorbike jobs like. You, it's just such a to do them right. You've got to spend a lot of bloody money, and I don't want. If I don't want to do them right, I don't want to get involved. I don't want I to don't get involved because it blows up his mind. I'm a dickhead. I don't want to. I don't want to be involved. I don't want to be involved. I bet you're in your element uh, with all your things and. Like, oh, fanning about in the shed, love it. But that's why I'm sort of back to where I started. That's why I went racing. You know, I just, I just, because I like building stuff in sheds. And have you got uh, yeah. any um, any projects in the pipeline that you haven't started yet, but that you're wanting to do? Yeah, me pick up. I've been. Oh, I've had that bloody years. I still haven't got started. I've got the engine and the gearbox together. I've got like a, oh, it's like a '94 Escort Aris Cosworth. But I've, I bought it off with with a bloke in Grimsby, cut the back off it, right? And it's it's a pickup, so it's an Escort Aris Cosworth, genuine. I've got the logbook for it. It's a genuine Escort Aris Cosworth with the back off, and I've got a Nissan GTO of a transaxle putting in the back, an electric motor self in the front. If you trick thing, it's a trick thing. <laughs> I, yeah, that's a long way off being done. So, but really, any spare time and money is on the Ibusa. But just blowing stuff up this year, no gain, no I've, gain this year. I have got to ask. So, how how does truck mechanic? BSB TT rider end up being a farmer. Yeah, you know, you know what I mean. I got I, yeah. Where, where farmer. was that? Where was I only that ever wanted to be a farmer. Right. I only ever wanted to be a farmer. Yeah. I was ploughing yesterday. <laughs> I've been truck fitting today. I was bloody worked on with them. Start five this morning. Finished at one half one or something. Else. Yeah, and I was ploughing, ploughing yesterday, and then there was drilling straight behind us. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Just yeah, just. I like from a girlfriend from years ago where her dad owned a farm or ran a farm and then I used to go a bit of corn counting for him just a bit of general work I used to love it you ever heard the term uh, clubs, uh, cab slags you ever heard that it's a northern Irish thing go on cab slags go on no just when, like basically when jump, someone jumps in a cab with you oh, okay. and when you're working away you're okay. a cab slag so oh, is get, that right? just in case you get called that Chrissy Barks <laughs> <laughs> some like that. there you go is that right <laughs> no we don't have many of them guy yeah. on the cab slag yeah, maybe 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 <laughs> No, I just love it. I just love it. I love it. Like round here, I was swimming in bloody tractors. I've always had tractors. I've had tractors for years, but I've just contracted them out. You know, I just I just service them and just contract right. them out. And then... Because that's a good thing with it. Like you mentioned the Neves, you know, they're farmers, hard-working lads. Yeah, and they, they are. Do it. it's, it's good that... And yeah. local as well, you know, the fact that you've got that connection, it's good yeah, that yeah, it's back good in lads. the sport, you know what I mean? Do you know, uh, when, when I'm down in this area, I know it's miles away from where I live, but I feel so at home with... Is because right? of the... There's so, just so many racing people around here. The they're like... Uh, there, is. there was a time last year I broke down on the do you know the new road in um, around Lincoln that yeah. new road they put in I, I broke down there and I put a picture like on my Instagram just like waiting for the RAC and within like a few minutes my, my old mechanic came past and stopped and then I had like and just there just seems it's such a hub for like you've got like Boasty there you've Boasty got I've seen the Neves you've the had Boasty on this 
Uh, yeah, 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 he's a legend, isn't he? Boasted and then the Jason O'Halloran lives very close. You've got all the Honda yeah. connections. It's yeah. just, it's a yeah. very, very. I mean, like in the northeast where we live, there's not many sort of it's, people. Oh, is it not? Me, him, Barry Teasdale. Uh, there we are. Few, yeah. <laughs> is no, no. that right? There's no, few, no, we've got some a, other lads. There's coming a up few uh, younguns coming through, like there's um, Franco loads. Bourne who who boasts these kind of mentoring through. Okay. Uh, but um, but, but we have nothing near us, if you know what I mean. It's like track it's, wise, we're Croft. We Croft, but even even Croft's an over an hour away. You know, what? but then yes, Croft, but because of the but because of the noise side of it, they barely have any uh, motorcycle meetings. I didn't know that. And we have really Knock Hill, as far as British is concerned, is 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 as near as yeah. My local's the Isle of Man. You know, as far no, as getting to yeah. Hersham, getting straight over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's mad. Yeah. Going, going back to the, the car side of things, I know, um, I think it was in your, your latest book about uh, Phil Reed's, was it an Evo? Oh, uh, Jesus Christ, yeah. Been doing What's time, a weapon? Time yeah. attacks in them. What's yeah. that like? Weapon, weapon. He trusted me in that. But then I, he let me out in his car last year and I crashed it. <laughs> Which, yeah, that one. I'm the proud, Evo? No, no, no. He got a G- Nissan GTR Le Mans thing that I went and crashed. Yeah, what a dickhead. Where, where did you crash Cadwell. that? Oh, Cadwell. Just because I, wanna... I don't really know what I'm doing. But it's, I raced his Evo. Well, he asked me to race it because he had like, he, there was a meeting, a time attack meeting. Um, he, he was doing like the full series, but there was one meeting he couldn't do. And he says, Would I drive? I said, Looking right, well, yeah, I mean, I mean so yeah, yeah. He, let me, he put me through my arts test, you know, to, to, like, the, what's, the, what's, the, what's the licensing? Go on, what do they call them? The licensing lot for the cars. I can't remember it. I have no idea. I yeah. Anyway, you have to do an arts test to be able to get a license. Anyway, he helped me get. He helped me get that. Um, yeah, I went and raced it. I went and raced it. But, but it, I don't really know what I'm doing, right? You like you boys know. You've got a feel for the bike job. So I just got in that car and I ended up winning. I went to win, but I don't really. But the car was so good. Right? Is that like the best car in the country for that sort of thing? Like time I think attack. it was. I think it was. And now sort of stuff like ex Le Mans cars are coming in, you know, like GT3 stuff. They're probably, but they're just a big money. The big mm. money, those things. Mm. Yeah, but just just the power. They probably they probably wouldn't have as much power as what his Evo had. But it's just the chassis are so much. Yeah, there's, there's so much more track. How do I get it? You know, like a Le Mans set of designed to go around tracks, whereas yeah. a, a, um, like an Evo was probably really designed to Off be road. a rally car, Aye. really. And you've adapted it and made it a bit wider and put different diffs in it to try and. But the four-wheel drive system was a massive game. Just yeah. I learned so much with that. Learned so much. What a piece of kit. Do you know the that uh, transit that you were doing for the new the yeah uh, the Nurburg rig yeah. It, um, have you still got that? Sold that. Oh, is it? What? Or did I sell that to buy? I sold that to buy someone else. Yeah. Do you know like say if you took that to ca- when you the best it, you possibly got it on like a perfect day cardboard? What sort of lap time would you be able to do around? Oh, there's a question. Yeah, no, no, I think I took it for a track day last year just before I sold it. All right. Yeah, you do like a one forty in it or so much. Yeah. Bloody yeah, but it actually came. Oh, right, okay. Game. I was well, going to say, there'll be a lot of people listening to d- who do track days and they'll be thinking, bloody yeah, old. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, but it was, it was, it was like 500 horsepower. Like, I took it on track days and like boys would go around you on, around the outside because you don't know, only had to overtake on the left. Yes. Right. Um, but in a straight, th- th- there wouldn't be anything there quicker. It was quick, it was fast. You know, say it was only like 500 horsepower, 550 horsepower or something. It was fast. That's mad. Yeah, for a van. <laughs> but then I, I had it in the shed, right? What was I going to do with it? Yeah. What was I going to do with it? I'm just trying to think of the bloody Marcus. Like Marcus has bought it, and he's put it on the road. He's made a mint job of it. He's made what a boy, what a boy. He's made a mint job of it. Oh mint job. Yeah, he's made it proper legal and brake. He's got a camera so we can see the engine in the back. You can be at me in a couple of eighty. Over... <laughs> he, wouldn't, he wouldn't be looking at the road if you think dumb. I know, I know, I know. I know he does set fire. He does set fire. Yeah. But it's, it's a weapon of a thing. Weapon of a thing. Yeah, just me and a load of mates from work. You know, like me, like Tim Drain, another, another mate from there. He made us the wishbone set from the back. He adapted a bloody like a racing Land Rover Defender back end he got that and I made the he mounted all the engine in a chassis and then made all the bits for it just like a couple of lads from work made the, welded the exhaust so it was it mint yeah mm-hmm. yeah it was mint you know just think mint thing to be doing uh-huh. mint thing and then yeah went race at the Nurburgring, ring and then yeah job was done that's what it, that was, that's all it was ever built for what am I going to do with it now and mm. I'm just yeah you know, and I was like yeah I could, I could do this with it but yeah now uh, we get we regularly get a lot of messages about, especially when we have anyone that's done any sort of uh, Irish road racing. Yeah, go on. And there's a lot of obviously keen fans um, oh, that listen Irish to, stuff, that boy. listen to the yeah, show. The and like for example, we had Connor Cummins on the other day, and right. we talked through his whole career, and we'd, we just didn't we we sort of missed the Irish roads, and we had a few messages being like, "Where? Why didn't we talk about it?" So, and I know you you prop after after the sort of BSB oh, thing, you probably got boy. stuck in over there. What have you got any good so- stories or like what was your favourite tracks and? Oh, Oh, like the first, just the whole thing. I probably went from the, the British, you know, because you were sort of in that bubble of, of that's all you thought racing was. So I 
told Stuart Higgs what I thought of him at the time, and 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 I just thought, fuck it, I don't need that. So I just thought, right, I'm cutting my nose off to spite my face. I don't need you. I'll just go do something else. So I just thought I went and raced Scarborough like a couple of weeks after, and I thought I did all right. Like I'm like, I won or something. I thought, all right, I'm all right at this. And then I was due to go. No, no, I, I went from Scarborough and I got talking to a bloke called Leslie Muir who was road racing Ireland. You he know, still is, yeah, yeah. yeah. He, is he still? Does he still do it? I don't really know what the crowd is. Yeah, no, he's still, yeah, still the other day, yeah. Is he? Is he? I'd, anyway, anyway. I don't he's, know part of, he's part of it. He's, right, okay. A massive part of the Irish scene. And anyway. he saw me at Scarborough and says, right, you ought to try and, because you're doing all right here, you ought to try and get over and do an Irish race. So we went and did Kells. You heard of Kells? Oh, God. I Have you ever raced it? I haven't and I'm gutted. Ah, of course. That was the first road race I did. Jesus Christ. Well, that's so obviously I've been racing around Cadwells and Brands, actually, the British Championships, right? And then Scarborough was sort of, it, it, was, it was sort of a road race, but it's not really a road mm, race. Not really. No, it's not no, really it's, a road it's race. It's painted curbs, closed off. It's not like it's... you've got dumper lorries going down it. I, no, I agree. I agree. No. It's great. It's great. And yes. Completely yes, agree. It, it's the closest thing we've got over it's here. It's the closest thing we've got. got what a great here. meeting. What a great meeting. But yeah, we get. Me, my brother, and a lad called Jim, Jim Andrews, you want to know, he's a rum lad. He's a rum lad. We, we went over in. I'm just trying to think of the reg of the van. It was a W reg granny at that. The first type of ladder of the max. It was like a W173 JDO. That was the reg of the van, right? We went over in that. I know, I was like, I like my reg. I like my reg from the vans, right? So we went over in that. We went to Kells. And we was genuinely like, you've heard it loads, I bet, right? Where's the track? You're on it. It was proper one of those, man. It was Josh cow shit and, and that fucking jumps and Fuck Jesus it. Christ, Christ it blew my mind, right? First race out, right? qualified all right but i took milky quail out right and i hurt him and i was just like because i was riding like a dick you know like I was, i've just gone from british championship to doing that you don't ride the same and that's you know what i mean it's you, not really it's you don't the ride the gentleman that. code kind of yeah, yeah I, don't and really I, I didn't know any of that you didn't of get course. the memo i know <laughs> i didn't get the memo so yeah took him out and i felt like a right dick and his sponsor was shouting at me and i was like I'm sorry i don't you know <laughs> anyway i went out in the next couple of races and i won them I won them, like, but it was it wasn't because he like knocked everyone else off. Sport. I knocked everyone else <laughs> off. Yeah, yeah. It was like the support. It was the support which she was allowed up to seven fifty, I think. Yes, hi. And I was on me like my junior superstar bike, just a standard six hundred. Then I won both of them, and like went off to Ireland, right? And I must have come like with like three grand prize money. Holy! And I thought, well, hang on, hang on. <laughs> what was I doing? What was I doing? I sort of indoctrinated into going to the British Championship and like, having to work all of the jobs to be able to just earn enough money to put tyres on my bike to, and then crash damage and then beg and borrow just to be able to get by to go race. To go to Ireland, right? And to come back with five, oh, bloody hell. So that was me from then on. And then I thought, oh, I'll go do the rest of the season. And then they took the licence off me for what I'd done. Because to protest, I think, at the British Championship, to, to um, appeal, you had to um, you had to pay this so much. You had to... You had to put like a fee up oh, to right. appeal. And obviously I'm a dickhead then. Ah. So fucking didn't listen to me, did they? And I was right, so I just cancelled the check. <laughs> so <laughs> that's, why I, lot I, that's why I lost my licence. So from then on, so I didn't race any more that year. Um, and, I, and from then on, I just ran on an MCUI licence. So I'm still on now. Right. MCUI, Irish, uh, brilliant, brilliant, yeah. Right? Yeah. There Irish we go. Licence, then. Yeah. Oh, so like going over to Ireland, you don't have to pay the staff no permission? Staff permission. No, no. When I race outside of Ireland, I need staff permission. But anything in Ireland is mint. Right. So, there uh, but now, what I'd like to tell you with the CRMC, because that's a great club, right? Yes. A great club and a great meeting. But I think I'm then waiting there all day to, you know, to pretty go and race at the end of the day. Oh, no. I, I, I put the back of the back of the van and said, that's the last time I'm racing. Not no disrespect to the CRMC club because it's a great club. But I just, I, I did not enjoy it. I didn't, yeah. it wasn't the meet. It was just me racing around them circuits. I've been racing around for, for years. And I'm just like, no, I fancy, I fancy a change. So, so yeah, any racing I do now is just, it's just in Ireland. Yeah, mm -hmm. just road stuff. And going straight from uh, the road racing. Road racing in Ireland. Uh, did, was it that year that you went straight to the TT, or did you? No, have... no, no, no. I did. I did the first year. I rode for Sam Finley. It was a pr what was a, a fella. I... Oh, you know Sam Finley? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some boy. Well, he's got the garages at the bottom yeah, of the Ulster. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. The whole family are fantastic. That's it, yeah, that's yeah, it, yeah. That's Real. it. Well, I, yeah, well, I lived with them for a year. Never. Yeah, I met him. Um, did he have hair then? No. no I'm just... Bald as a coot. <laughs> Bald as a coot. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Edna is missus. Scott and Danielle, the, um, Dania. yeah, bloody hell, they're the most hospitable family. What you know, a the, lovely Because at the Ulster, they get everyone down and feed you and everything like that. They're unbelievable. Yeah, family. I live with them for a year. I live with them for a year, and then Jesus, yeah, what, well, yeah, cause I sort of I met him because I'd gone and raced Kells, and no one really liked me because I'd knocked <laughs> Milky Quail off. But I got talking to Sam right there, and I thought, all right, yeah, yeah, and just nodded to him, and then somehow me and Jim Andrews, like the way of us and his brothers, and we ended up, and Ivan Linton, I don't know if you know Ivan. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah. We ended up going to bloody Mete 
to watch the supermoto race. And we ended up meeting Sam Finley there, right? I've, done, I've just done that. Have you? I have. Have you done it? No, I've never done Do it. it. We went to... Do it. I'm shit. No, no, no. no shit. Does, it, does, it, does it matter if you're shit? Does it? You're a man of the bucket list. You've got to do, mate. That was the first time I've been on a supermoto bike. Go on. And that's the first supermoto event I've ever done. Mint. Mate, Honestly. Like, you know, it's one of those things that you just think, I need, like, if I had the money, I would buy a supermoto bike in a heartbeat. It was unbelievable. Honestly. Turn one, fuel station. Yeah, the pumps yeah, are still yeah. alive, they're smoking cigarettes and drinking beer, and you're literally like, mate, I, I was that far off some bloke's face. <laughs> and then you go in the back section, full big dirt jumps. The people like, Is that right? Oh, the people are unbelievable. It's like in the 70s. I wasn't even around the 70s, and that's what the 70s would have okay. been. Like. Proper okay. people having the crack. The paddock's mint. You could walk your dog. You could do this. You Is could do that. that. Right? You, you've put that okay. on your okay. list. Okay. Right. You Noted. have to go do met. Noted. But like, all of my brain space at the minute is dedicated to... Well, you're pissed that, and then know, after that, do I know, I know, I know, <laughs> I know, I know. So, yeah, yeah, met him at May, and then somehow, I ended up moving over and racing for him for a year. But it was, I took my bikes and raced one of his bikes, and his, he was, he was sort of his team, but Liam Quinn as well, who was like a proper top, not top, but he was like a big, he owned um, Team Air, was like a big air company. Mm. Um, supply compressors and all that, in and around Belfast, all, and all of that, and he was, a, but he only, he died. He got he got into big big into car racing. Real well to do bloke. He got in, he got into he car did, racing. He, yeah, no, the sponsor the Ulster a couple of years back. Don't they? Yeah, 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 big, yeah. Big, big, big firm, big big firm, big massive firm, big firm. massive so compressors. It was yeah. sort of his yeah between Sam Finley, fan, Sam Finley and Liam Quinn. I saw it was sort of their team, and um, yeah, I wrote I wrote for them, and I'd, I work for um, for Sam's building company at Montepai, which was the old DeLorean factory, and I worked in there for a year. Yeah, just on doing groundwork stuff. Like the, you know, the, 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 have you ever seen the Netflix the, um, John DeLorean? About the whole story, some story at that point. Some story. You know, there's Lorian Car. I don't mind. No, Jesus Christ. Back to the future. No, the time I, I, I need a piss. You don't know the. De- Get a look at right, your Stop, phone. pause, pause. Hang on, <laughs> I'm going to go for a piss. You don't know the DeLorean Car? <laughs> no. The Back to the Jesus Future. Jesus Christ, Marty, I'm off for a piss. The, the, I'm a worthy <laughs> Have a, you don't know Jesus Christ, I'm off the for door, a piss. The doors are open vertically. Oh, right, we're going to. Right, he's got. He's got. Click, buy, deliver. With remote purchasing from the two-time Motorcycle News Dealer of the Year, Colchester Kawasaki. Proud sponsors of Chasing the Race In. Right, we're back from a quick, quick whiz stop. Pen, stop you'll yeah. be th- everyone will be thankful to hear you now know what a DeLorean looks like. <laughs> <laughs> Never seen Back to the Future, my word. Nope. <laughs> Job to do. Job to do. That's on your list, son. That is on your list. <laughs> It'll rock your world, I'm telling you, straight up the fact. So, yeah, where were we? Irish, <laughs> Irish Roads. Irish, Irish Roads. Irish Roads. So, Sam Finley, Liam Quinn, lived with the family for a year. They were mint. Quick question. Out of all of the um, races that you did in the Irish Roads, what, what was the one f- uh, best race that you had, f- most enjoyable? Like, is the, when I've just said that, is the one race that springs to mind where you think, oh, that was mint? Yeah, 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 yeah probably. What yeah, the that? best race, like Monaghan. I can't remember the year. Is that a track? Yeah, Monaghan, yeah. Never heard of this. Harkor, yeah, Mon- Monaghan, Harkor. Is it? Harkor. Have you raced there? No. I've never heard of it. Is, yeah. it, is it like a proper footpath race? Yeah, go track. A... I, I, I remember it was quite famous. Well, not fair, but infamous, I suppose, is the word. Isn't it is uh, did three boys where Gary Dines, I can't remember, there's three other lads got killed, two other lads, sorry, there's Gary Dines, three lads killed in one crash one year. Harkor. Harkor, what a track. Jav. What a track. But yeah, my superbike had broke down, so I rode my 600 in the superbike race, and I think I finished third. Jesus. Yeah. Did you have a few remember. sketchy sketchy moments? Over oh, it's just Harkor, boy. Just the whole thing, the whole event, the whole everything around it was just, I just loved it. I just loved that you fuck it up, you're dead. That's what I loved. I love that sort of thing. Got you know a buzz I mean? from it. Yeah, massive buzz. Like, and, that's, and really, that's why I was... Do you know, I've uh, taken like, all the motorsport stuff to one oh, side. No, are, I know what you mean. Are, are you, would you describe yourself as an adrenaline junkie? No. That's just one of them wanky terms. Isn't it? That's <laughs> <don't use. laughs> isn't it? Well, if, if you said, like, if you make a mistake, not use that word in Grimsby, boy. If you make your, if you make a mistake, you're dead and get a buzz from it. Like, do, it, nothing to do with engines. Like, do you just like dangerous stuff? Uh, yeah, I fucking love it, man. Have you, it wrong. Have you ever done so sort of like, you've got to be sort of, yeah, you've got to be sort of, you've got to be like, do you know, you're pushing um, yourself, aren't you? Because if you get it, you, you just push yourself to that limit, and then if you just step out of line, there's big consequences. Do you know and stuff, that's the buzz of pushing it yes, to that limit. Do you yes, know stuff yes. like, uh, you know, that base yes. jumping in the wingsuits and stuff? Has that ever tickled your fancy? Yeah, yeah, I suppose. But I've been skydiving, and it, not skydiving, um, parachuting, just yeah. parachuting, like, stack line stuff. 
so I was supposed to do my. Um, I've just uh, signed up and paid for my accelerated free fall course. Right. So you, um, I've never done a tandem or a parachute or anything, but uh, the AFF, you uh, do one day's training and then you you jump uh, solo fifteen thousand feet. Shit. And uh, so yeah. No I'd, training. I'd, a full day training. Yeah, yeah but no, then, but no previous jumps. No previous jumps, but you first. It's it's very well. It's it's, it's very well. Um, it's what it's and, like a one to one tuition like system. And the first three jumps you jump with two instructors next to you which they get your body position and perfect and stuff and then you, basically you do, you do your... you've got an altimeter on your left hand side here jump at fifteen thousand feet you do your checks and everything six thousand feet you pull your uh, your shoot and if everything goes right it's just a case of uh, taking control steering it and then yeah. You, yeah you've obviously got to be a bit careful with you've got like holding areas depending on where the wind is so you've got to be in a certain area for at one thousand feet and then you go with the wind until you get a five hundred feet turn and then oh, so you know this before you even get there then no just from from the day's training I've already done my training oh but, sorry but sorry was, oh you don't do the training and go and do it straight away right, no, it okay, was, okay, it, okay. well it was too windy so you should um, I was what I did my that? training on like a Thursday passed the exam on the night and then I, sh- I was ready to jump Friday morning and then the last thing you turn into the wind and then just before you hit the ground you flare up but um so you do your first it's three thousand feet. You do yes, yeah, four and a half kilometers up. You you jump out. You accelerate to one hundred and twenty mile an hour in twelve seconds, and then you you have about forty five seconds of flying at one hundred and twenty mile an hour, and then pull your chute. Turn right. If if there's a problem, you've yeah, got a, a you've got a toggle here and a reserve. Yeah. So like for there's they tell you all the sort of malfunctions to look out for, but if um if you have what's called a malfunction, you look up and things aren't right. You just grab these two handles, pull you uh, pull the red toggle. And pull yeah. the pull the handle. It um, releases your main canopy and releases your reserve. That, you... You've also got a, a thing called an ADD, which is an automatic deployment device. So if you say if you jumped out, oh, if you jumped out and you just blacked out and did nothing, when you get to one thousand five hundred feet, it would know that you you you're traveling too fast towards ground and you you still Shit. haven't deployed. So you've, so you've three. And it automatically deploys. Yeah, so it's so it's your three forms of. It's not very, It's not dangerous, but you would still get a good buzz from yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, well, no, the so, mad thing is, you used to have to do um, your secondary part of the test. You had to do a cutaway back in the day. The course originally started in California. Have you done this? Yeah, I you go only to a level eight. I got to a level six and ran out of money. Jeez. I've done six solo jumps. Have you? So yeah, but then you free fall, flips. Right? Yeah, free fall. Fifteen thousand feet. I got the seventeen thousand above the cloud line. So, so but each, each each level. So you have Mint to, crack. Each level. Yeah, they, they give you something to do. So like, say your seventh jump. Read a you, paper. You have to like jump out backwards. And it, do you know, no matter what orientation you are. So like, say if you jumped out as a like a pencil dived or jumped out back flipping. Yeah. yeah. As long as you take this position. Which is called an arch position. Yeah. Your body naturally levels out to to a stable position. Uh, right. And going uh, down face first. You could ju- jump out whichever way, and as long as you as long as you get into this arch position, yeah. your body naturally levels out. Okay. And then that's when you um, and you can like sort of steer and you do all your all your levels. But once you pass, I think it's like level eight or something. You can just turn up at the airfield and for like fifty quid, you can jump up and Blasty just jump by yourself. Hell. So that's what I'm hoping to. They're big on it down here, Ablestone. Right, okay. I just think it would be a good hobby to have, wouldn't it? Like, say, if now and so again. If he lands in your yard one day, you know, he's passed yeah, the ball. Yeah, so yeah, like, yeah. Oh, oh, I missed the landing, nice. guy. Sorry, mate. This is a good one. Get so, on. uh, when, I went on, when I went on Friday to do my first jump, there was Get a lady on. there that was waiting to do a second jump. And um, so, when, when you jump out of the plane, there's a guy on the landing area who's got a, a list of all the canopies like the so each person's got a different color canopy mm-hmm. and the names so like for example you would have like guy blue so as you're coming down he can radio through to you you've got a radio Shit. and he can radio through and say oh you need to be like a little bit more towards the wind or turn left or whatever yeah, anyway yeah. They, this girl called cami had jumped out first ever jump so she'd waved our instructors off she'd pulled her canopy and just you miles up so you, you can like hardly see the area you want to be at and she gets radioed through to turn left, so she turns left, and a bit confused, and, her, and the, the guy kept radioing through, telling her where to turn. And anyway, as she was coming down to land, she was miles away from the airfield. The bloke had got the, the colours and oh, the names shit. mixed up. <laughs> <laughs> Is so, that right? So she landed, in, like, she landed in this cow's field miles Love away. The, yeah. And, yeah, bless her. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, I'm, I'm really looking forward to getting stuck in. I've never done anything like that it before. Be but just that, um, yeah. The I, buzz. Yeah. The buzz. Yeah, I'll, I'll let you know how it, how it goes. You might be interested. 
Or so, not. Well, how long? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but you've 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 you're well covered there, aren't you? You're well covered. Oh yeah. You've... How much free fall are you gonna have there time wise? So free falls so a minute. From... Jeez, it's right as long as that. Yeah, one minute. Shit. Um... So so that's from fifteen thousand to what? Six thousand. No, but then you get lower throughout the course. So you actually can deploy lower and lower for like, see it like... As part of your training, they do a thing called a... Like 4,000 um, I got though, 4,000. I think feet. it was a Jeez. jump and like a rock and roll basically. As part of your training, you have to practice an emergency exit. So as the plane's going up, it gets to like 5,000 and they go exit, exit, exit. And you've got to jump and literally just pull straight away. And like, you've yeah. got no time. Yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, you, you yeah usually fly down for a minute and then pull. And right. you've got like about but four, five thousand. You're going emergency exit of the plane. Go out, pull your shoe straight away. Yeah, can, that'd be a good buzz. To be fair, I yeah, can imagine yeah. base jumping being more of a buzz because obviously it takes so much time for a natural shoot to fully deploy. You think air pressure and everything. You think base jump. The buzz of that is essentially road racing and parachuting. Mm. Yeah. You are getting as low to the ground well, as that, you can. Do you know that before you can deploy? Do you know yeah. them wing them wing suits? Yeah, Have you yeah, seen yeah. them where the, there's a thing where there's like a an art like a rock sort of um like a cave in the rocks and they're flying through and they're flat, it and they come down and fly through that's uh, that sounds like it's up your street yeah, <laughs> so uh, like, what, yeah. Is, it, is there anything that you i don't know if i sounded seeded here but is there anything that you wouldn't do kind of thing is there anything that you look at and go you would never catch me doing that as long as i live no not no, really good. If, 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 if i'm in control you're not like I've been doing like I do a bit of TV stuff like the fucking so health and safety with everything. I say, look, I have been doing stupid things for a long time, and I'm still here, so I'm doing something right. Leave it with me. I'll sort it. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Yeah, so yeah. It, as long as I'll, I'll yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll do whatever. Yeah. But as long as I, I you know, you, you can go through it with take a pragmatic approach to it. And you can see, right, this, this, you go through this process to achieve this goal, and yeah, yeah, that's that's out, what. Out of all the things you've done for the TV, what's been the what's been like the proudest thing you've done, or the best? I don't know if I say a proudest thing because they're all sort of things done. Out of the, you know, there's not really we're not coolest, what? coolest. Okay. The, 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 can I pedal that push bike behind a truck, 112.94 mile an hour? That was something. Yeah, but it was not on that fast. But fucking hell, man! I genuinely thought I was going to pull the muscles off the back of my legs. I was pedaling that hard to keep up with that truck, mm. right? And then just the ways I just thought, yeah, yeah, yeah. What, because because that like, the day that there wasn't even there was the morning, right? Because I was to do like the TV wanted to do loads of shots at different angles to do loads of build ups to get right, but right, the, 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 like half a dozen runs, right? This is going to be the one, and we'll get the cameras in the right place. We'll have a helicopter in the right place and do it all. And I we did one practice run. And I said, "Fuck that, boys!" I said, "We're doing one run, and that's it. No more." Did you have to be so close to? Yeah, 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 out, yeah, yeah. yeah. Out, out but the problem was, if I was, if I was dropping off, right? So I would be pedaling like, but to try and get back on the back of the truck, and he would see that I'm dropping off. Dave was driving the truck. He'd see I was dropping, so he'd back off. But then I, we've got our approaching speed, so I would then hit the back of the truck and bounce off. And it's just so because just because we'd gone. It was, it was like a wet beach. It was a wet beach because you needed to. You didn't want it obviously dry sand. So as soon as the tide had gone out, we was on it. Um, and we did one practice run, and, and then just the wheels, the, the like the little wheelings that the push bike was leaving and the truck was leaving, made such a massive difference in the bike and how it controls. So that's why I said we're doing one run and that is it. We're doing no more, and that's why then they, they, they had no choice but to do. They had, we had one go. Shit or bust. I've got. I've Shit got or bust. So, you know that's how, that's how I had to deal with it like that because you know, I'm a very. If if we'd have done it how they wanted to do it with like half a dozen different runs, it was going to end in tears. It was going to end in tears. So I just like with that, and as long as I'm in control, the numbers games. Yes, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, I'm in control. This is how we do it. Go on. What's been your biggest disappointment in telly, kind of thing? Because in my humble opinion, I'm very sorry about this. Go the on. The program was brilliant. Go on. Great Escape, Steve McQueen, the history behind it, everything. Yeah. My biggest upset with that program is they told you that fence was fake. You know, you know the, yes. the fake, and I'm like, why did they tell everyone it was fake? I'm just sitting, you're watching it going, he's fucking, and it was all a bit. Guy Martin's gonna jump this fence, and it was just like, yeah, it's me. You know, I mean, Nan could ride through that, and I'm like, oh, I was watching it, screaming at the telly guy. I'm like, I it was meant the boys that made that fence. No, no, mean. no, no, the men and men job. It looked, it looked bang on. It but looked why? bang on. It was fake. Oh, you don't think the public needed to know that no, it was a fake? No, I it. Is I'm, that right? I, don't get me wrong. They could have put it after the fact. You know, like, you know, you know, when they're like, you know, like. Oh look, this is what we have. Like right, a blue that's, good, that's good to deliver that. No, that's good to deliver. Yeah, for me right. personally, you're Bit watching it going. Yeah. Let you know, part of me wants them to fuck this up a little bit. You know what I mean? Just for the entertainment yeah, value yeah, as yeah. a British person, an underdog. But I'm watching it going. <laughs> You know, you know, like, you know what I mean? He's done all his training, saying. his background. He can ride a motorcross saying. bike and have a go at like, Yeah, there was no to go wrong, was there? You really? know, but I tell you what, I had some brilliant. buzz on that though. I had some buzz because we'd done the day before that. We do, I took my motocross bike. I drove over and then I took my motocross bike over. 
Um, and I'd done like a couple of practice runs, and I couldn't do it on a motocross bike. I was landing like a sack of shit. You were doing the ankles in, weren't you? Yeah, yeah. fucking proper. Pro- and I just said, fucking hell. And I, I, all we said was, right, because they wanted me to practice to get all the camera shots right and do all this, and then use the Triumph for the last one. Um, and then I said, look, fuck that, boys. We're, all we're doing, we're doing it once, right? Shit or bust. So that was the same sort of thing. And they listened to me. Well, they didn't really have a lot of choice. They didn't really have a lot of choice. Because, yeah, yeah. Because yeah, yeah. I, just, I was just landing like a sack of shit on that like, motocross bike. And we did it on the Triumph, and it was all right. It was all right, and we cleared it. We just got cleared over the top. Just got over the top. Because, like you say, the pro the program was brilliant. You know, the history, you know, behind it. it. it I, I did a load of learning with that. That a was a fantastic, but that one little bit boiled <laughs> they me. Didn't know, like, we didn't need to like, know. Like, cause Steve McQueen, you know, the whole because he got a stunt rider in the insurance they did. side of it, but I, you could just imagine Steve McQueen going, just going in after dark going, fuck it, come on. They say, reckon he did bump. do it. They did do it. They reckon he did do it. He did They do reckon, it. they reckon. Yeah, right. They, they, who was they? I don't know. But yeah, they reckon he did it. reckon he did it. Ford Aitkins, he was the boy that did the jump. In the movie, yeah, in the Great Escape, yeah, it, it. what a joke! Like it's fantastic. Yeah, isn't it? Oh, yeah, but that was, it was all right. Me doing it on like that fucking new Triumph, right? Without what, like hundred mil of suspension travel. They did it on a bloody old hard tail bloody Proper. Triumph. <laughs> uh, that's men. That's men. I was only playing that. That's it. Pair of I was jeans, only playing. That's it. You've got it. You've got that's it. it. Go You've got don't, it. don't even show yourself at the pub if you can't make that jump. <laughs> You've got you know, it. Do, do you know, with the whole t- the, with all TV stuff, do they? Is there like a team of people that come to you and say, right, we've we've been having to think these are the like possible options, or is it are you? Is it you saying this is what I want to do and they sort of work around? Or is it a bit of no? no, no to, to be honest, the only one I think it was my idea was Pikes Peak. Right, I think that was the only one that was my idea. So, so they come to you with them, and, yeah. you, and then you're like, yeah, let's do it. Yeah, thing. yeah, because I don't need. To, like, I'm always in that position. I don't need to do. It. It's not my job. Yeah, like I do. Like this year, I've done. Like, I've done a fair bit this year. I've done like sixty days this year. Mm-hmm. But yeah, I don't. If they come up with a good idea, let's have a go. It's great. Sounds great. Sounds great. But yeah, I don't. I don't need to do it. So it's got to be interesting ideas, and I don't know if we're running out of ideas or not. Unless someone can come up with some like, decent ideas. I'll get me uh, a pen and paper. I'll yeah, get some ideas. Yeah. So don't you worry, so. <laughs> but I tell go you, on, what, go on, like what? Oh god, give me a pen and paper. I need a glass of wine. I need some inspiration. Sit me there with a the dog. <laughs> we'll just come up with the guy, Martin. Don't you? I'll you, get your list. Don't I tell you, I'm sure, I'm sure there's something that. Um, and it, I know you. Mean, what an opportunity! What we you know, what position to be in to just like come yeah. up with these daft ideas. Right, we'll have a go at that. I know That's you. Mean. You mentioned have you this. a motorcycle yet? No. Yes. I have. Have what you? have you? I have pit bike. My mate's pit bike. Yeah, well, I'd... and I obliterated me me mate's pit bike. Little Hayden start. That little lad can ride a motocross bike. He's unreal. And I broke his heart when I broke his pit bike. We, we, <laughs> it's a long story anyway. We're diverse, but I have done a backflip. Into a him. foam pit? No, no. Dirt. Shit. No, no. Dirt. Straight up. Oh, so. no, no. I've done one in a foam pit. but there was a... Shite bag. Holy dirt. shite. We went up in the middle. All day. Surrounded. Just... So, all day. I went. I'm one of those so you people. did it once? Oh, once. I battered myself to live in hell. No, no, that's not He's got a future like. to think of, guy. He's yeah. got a future to think there was, of. There was, give a fuck. there was lots of them flips that the bike... Obviously, you go quite high in the air and the bikes were just coming straight down yeah, on, his, getting the energy on his legs. On... And I'm just thinking... Like, you saw if, enough. Yeah, to, that, that, yeah one yeah, of those yeah. would like could easily slap, snap my leg and I would just think, no, and the... Um, I'm all for having a go at stuff, but, you know, the I think of everything as like a... A, a cost reward yeah, sort yeah, of yeah, 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 yeah. I'm not going to get anything out of that and potentially I could screw this? See, this is this goes, like this a, goes someone's back backyard like mid-season this was like mid mid no, b- no beginning of the season you know we just went look I'm one of those people when I say I'm going to do something guy I say I do it yeah, I, yeah. I stood there this is the problem he doesn't drink at the pub and when you're in the pub yeah, the tongue yeah, start yeah. getting loose I'm going to back it no you would shut up nah this is happening like that woke up the next year gone I better do this backflip then. No. <laughs> got a mini digger, like a bunch of gangsters in the field and Anthony got playing, took a, took a jump, just got it steeper and steeper. I know. You did it? Way I. But you knackered the bike? Oh, it bent the bars and all sorts. Got it done. But you though. did get it. Yeah, damn right. Fair play. I know. I know. Uh, so, so. Fair play, Guy man. Martin's backflip. There we are. It could be. Yeah. That's the next I'm 40 year old now. <laughs> so, well, my dad's yeah. 62, had a pin removed to go racing. Don't yeah, give me the age yeah, crack, yeah, son. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, we uh, we, we did mention this earlier about. That's an idea, boy. Uh, do you know your, your new track down at uh, Caster and Thor, Thor's, way. Thor's, Shaz, way. Thor's Shaz, way? It's Shaz's little it's Shaz's, project. It's yeah, Shaz's track. And, uh, I've seen yeah. a, I've seen a few good videos. Uh, we made with Billy. Billy's been on the uh, ah, podcast right. a few times. Oh, them he? them boys can ride mine, can't they? Billy Tommy Bolton, and Billy, Billy Bolton, the bike. Christ. Jay. Uh-huh. Billy doesn't Jesus. like me. He likes him. <laughs> Is that right? No, no. What a boy! What? Yeah, like Shaz. To be honest, like, I bought the place. Wanted to get it going because it was like a legendary motocross track. It was just like a bit, it was always leased out to different people. And it was just, anyway, I got a chance to buy it, buy it. Um, and like, so, yeah, so let's see what we can do with it. Like, so I'll just give it a shazza. And then she's she, the last she got in, like, um, Johnny and Alfie, 
Johnny and Alfie. I'll help you out there. Yeah, Johnny and Alfie. <laughs> yeah, 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 Alfie Smith. Uh, Johnny Douglas Hamilton. Yes. Proper what? doers. Like, I don't know if he's a boss like that. The best trap builders in the country. Definitely in the country, if not the, if not the well, world. I was, I was there, with, uh, do you know, um, when I think you uh, lent Matt, Matt your bike for Christian oh, Stag do. Yes, they so had the Stag do up there. And I said, you go up there? Yeah. I said, you ride? Uh, well, you could you could say that, but not really. Um, oh, Matt, right. We've got to put that in. Congratulations for getting it put. Yeah, you're going to the wedding, aren't you? After this. Yes, yeah. So, yeah, so by the time this podcast goes out, it'll be like last week. But right, um, Chris, right. Yeah, congratulations. Yes, yes, congratulations. Yeah. Congratulations. Yeah. So the wedding goes to the plan. Yeah. <laughs> Fair play. Fair um, play. But Fair yeah, play. The, the to see the change from where where it was. The, what was that like a month or two months ago to see where it is now yeah that you have done a hell of a job and, hey boy uh, that's all my missus oh. has it so she, yeah yeah she, which, I, yeah i met her at a moped race in dublin but she was sort of part of the scaries organizing that's how i got to meet her right um yeah yeah, yeah scary you're not scary you've done scaries no i haven't it's you on my list no, you don't just, like clash. no i i, I want these are on my lists these are on my list. i don't think we've well, spoke Tamagay, about cogstown uh armoy yeah I've well done, I, i've done the, Ah, they're the northern stuff. Yeah, but they're, they're, they're great, they're great, they're great. Oh, they're but, great. I, but I tell you what, before I forget, we're talking about motocross. Um, I need to borrow your field to do that. That's on my bucket list now. I want to, I want that full, I want to replicate that. Well, them that boys, photo. that's how those boys. I'll now, have to... Right, Jake Nichols. There's another laugh from up your way. It was a Honda rider. Jay Haig. Jay Haig. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, they can ride. Billy Bolts. Tommy Searle. Tommy Searle, legends. All, all them boys are legends, especially like Tommy Searle and Billy Bolt. Yeah. Did he win the championship? Tommy did yeah, this year, yeah. He British did, I? Yeah, yeah. Mm. No, 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 no. Tommy Searle, but what about Billy Bolt? I thought he, it was he won the Germany round, the last one right. that was out. Does yeah, that mean he's won the title then? I'm not sure, actually. We'll have to double check on that. Not right. too hot. I'll get him back. But, 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 yeah, you know, because obviously... They could see when we turned when we turned up. Like, it's, it's all Shazza. Like, she, she, she's a great she, she just asked me, right? Can you spend this? Can you, you know what I mean? But the, the dog. What, what do you want to do? Want to, you know, happy render. wife, happy life. You've got it. You've got it. You've got it. But she's just you married the right she's... woman if she's putting her money in the motocross tracks. Let's yeah, just yeah, say yeah. that. She, putting that's that what she now. does, and she's done some amount of organising to get that where it is now, right? But then obviously we're in a position now. I asked I asked them lads, and they're all going to talk shit out there at the time there because I can see the amount of time and effort that everyone's put in, right? Um, I said, go on, be honest, what do you think? And I said, oh, yeah, best track in the country. And I thought, yeah, yeah they're always they're always, always going to say that, won't they? So I took him to the side at the end, and I said, like, the Billy Bell, I said, go on, what would you change? And he says, the only thing he would change is um, he's got to, you've got to soften it off. Like, the, the, the start, tabletop. And I just, that's why, like, Johnny and Alfie that built the track, I just, I, I mean, I rode it, right? I fucking, I'm, I'm a waste of time, I'm a waste of time. But I couldn't, like, never say never. Right? But how you... The vision that those boys have got that you can get from that point to that point, but to get to there, you've got to whip it through the air and, and scrub it over. I just have you seen blows oh, my mind. Have you seen what Bill does with the uh, the indoor stuff? The world, the um, world, the what? The world yeah, like extreme yeah. enduro stuff. Extreme yes. enduro, yeah. Have you seen? And I've seen some. Of you the can stuff see he does. they can see like sort of like a load of logs. And to have the vision to know, like, to do it at that speed, you're just going to clear that. But, like, the f- and it's, like, p- literally perfect. But that motocross job, the way that those boys have built the track, to do that blew my mind. And then, it was really, it was a comment that Billy Bolt said. I said, good, I took him to the side. I said, good one, what did you say? And he said, look, you just got to soften that down. And he says, because if you let knobbers go there, like me, that's going to end up in tears. So that's, that's so now, the, 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 the track is, we're not softening it at all. That is how the track is, mm-hmm. right? And if, if that means that it's the best track in the country, then that's great. But we're only letting top stuff happen there. Yeah. So, Mint. But then they're all chomping at Chaz's door. Yeah, chomping at a door. To, you know, wanting to run meetings there. But then we're thinking, yeah, right, if that's, if we've got the you know, we've got the great track. And we've got, do we just run our own thing? Like, yeah. run like a standalone event, you know. But you can do when it's... When yeah, so it, it, yeah. that's up to Chaz's, really. Of course it is, yeah. But, yeah, it's great that we've got that, you know, what an asset to have there. And if we can, you know, it's, yeah. Here's, here's a daft question for you. So, Go on. Like, when I look at like a Billy Bolton the motocross, like I grew up, Jeremy McGrath was my racing hero. You know what okay. I mean? Motocross. You're 29. 29, yeah, yeah. You're 26. Yeah. Right, 29, 26. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go on, go on. But Jeremy like, McGrath, Jer- yeah, Jeremy McGrath yeah, and like David Villeman, and we're talking like Ricky Carmichael. You know, yeah, I grew up yeah. watching motocross, and I just thought these boys are absolutely like the cream. The, the and I yeah, would yeah, be, yeah. and I'd be like. If I met Jeremy McGrath, I'd be totally starstruck. Yes. Yeah, who, would you, who would you get starstruck by? Or would you at all? You know, if yeah, you, yeah, 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 yeah. Who, who was, who was... I met Andy Cow, who I sold me mailing to. Yeah, like right. when I grew up, like my heroes were like Tony Scott and Chris Mayo. No, like just the engine builders. Just the visions they had of ways working around rolls and getting more power out of stuff. It just blew my mind. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and then I, I met um, 
like Steve Mello when I wrote for like Amy Amara. Just, just I was like in awe all the time. Just the legends. Uh, do you... Just legends. Just, just, just like so. There was never really a rider in where like John Britton. I'm not mad at John Britton. You... you know, you know. It's... How how do you find being on the other side? Like, f um, because of like who you are, there'll be people that um, like say if they see you at a racetrack or whatever, and they'll. Um, they'll just fall to bits to, you'll know what it's like to you know like your heroes or whatever how do you find um, being on the other side and sort of like um, do, you, do you find it awkward that people feel yeah, like that around you yeah I do I'm a dickhead uh, <laughs> well no I think well, I, was in tra I was in my tractor last night just doing plowing just the headlands up there and then a bloke come down in his car and he'd brought his missus from Worcester and he was and he was a real nice bloke and I let him have a couple of runs in the tractor I said oh, <laughs> yeah we just come down and just well, yeah and he's like, oh, I, knew, I knew you lived down here and alright just having an out with him and he just yeah he was sort of a bit and I was sort of like a bit starstruck I'm like well, mate I'm a dickhead I'm, in my office. I'm just driving my tractor <laughs> <laughs> to get excited about I'm just a dickhead you know I'm like, no way I'm, I'm not you know I'm not trying to I don't think I'm, I, I, I don't, bet it was because it's just different You're like oh, I, could, I, could, I, could, I, could, I could go on about this I mean you could get into the George Orwell and 984 thing and all that I'm just think right I, I, just what do you want what do you want I, 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 the TV's given me some amazing opportunities hasn't it like some of the stuff and I, I'm not dismissing any of that right but that, the reason for doing all of these great things was because there were great things to do right yeah the, the goal of that wasn't to be famous mm -hmm. right but I can just see like, I'm not a big telly watcher. I, I, you know, I don't. I don't have a Facebook. I don't do any Twitter. I don't do any of that. But the the, the main reason for all of those things is 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 for notoriety and and to, and to get sort of famous. And they'll do whatever it takes to get to that point. And that point is famous. And they'll do whatever it is. So if it means being enthusiastic about a vegetable lasagna or enthusiastic about engineering or whatever it is, they'll do whatever it is. Just. But I I, I don't want that. I don't yeah. want to be famous. But I've had to do all these amazing things, but the problem is I've ended up there and I don't really want to be there. It's almost so, like a side. Uh, it is, side, and mm. I don't like, and it's great because I, I met a bloke and we trapped it. You know, I was just, what's the chance of that? He's just drove down here at the time I was on the headland, just doing the, and now I just got narrow to, and it was great. What a great thing! But I don't, I don't want, I don't want to be famous. I bet you I found it. Did, do you know after the, the, the that film they did close? Yeah, the close to the edge. Yeah, yeah, two thousand ten. At the TT after that, I bet you you found it difficult with the because there's so many fans in a closed environment, yeah, yeah, yeah. and like I bet you get like wherever you go, you get absolutely yeah, pounded. you do. You can't get away from it. Do you just you can't have... get away from it. But then really, that's where I come to the conclusion: doing the tour divide, that I should have packed in. I should have packed in more or less straight after that, mm -hmm. really, because I wasn't enjoying it. I wasn't was, enjoying that, it. was that the point? Where you yeah, thought... well, I wrote for Taz. I wrote for Taz the year after that, right? Yeah. Which was mint. Which meant, and like Stuart Johnson was there, and Matt McCarver was there, and like Philip Neal, Hector Neal. They, like, Hector Neal, didn't, he never really spoke to me after I went really? to the Honda thing. He didn't, he, he fell out with me because the Honda thing. I went, because I, I packed him racing, you see, 15, I packed him racing, and then I ended up going back to race for Honda. But only because Neil took, I know Neil took, yeah. he, he, he said, um, New fine blade, he says. He said, I'll let you ride the Honda 6. So, really, the whole goal was to ride the Honda 6. That was the whole, the only reason. But the bike was. He, he knew he was talking to yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, the only reason. Yeah, the only reason. Honda 6. <laughs> I know, I know. But I have no regrets because like, like, I managed to walk away, unlike McGuinness. Yeah. McGuinness had problems with the bike. Jesus. I didn't really have problems with the bike. I never got on with it. And I had, I know it chucked me off, but that was just through a, a, a normal, that was a gearbox issue. That wasn't through anything to do with that the design of the bike. in the May. Where I come out of Alacre, my God, you come round. Yeah, you're beautiful. turn, you come down, you hook a gear out. Burn the wall, boy. Yeah, I could. I yeah, mate. I, mate, I saw. <laughs> That's mate, what got me away mate, from that. I saw was you in that race? I was. I oh, saw. Was I saw both skid marks. The one in your levers and the one going up the curbs. <laughs> and I was like, oh, Jesus. I know. I saw it. I, I saw walked the... away from that, and I just when I walked away, boy, I said, "That is it. I am finished. I should have packed in when I said the year before." But I still got to ride the under six, so it was me. Yeah, it was me. But this is. Do you know about the under six? Do you know. Uh, yeah, uh, just, just, just from your book. Uh, oh, you haven't seen Honda mind. Six. Uh, I've, I've heard one started up. Oh, thank God! Right, you you, you ticked yeah. off the list. Like you're a classic man. You're into it. Yeah, they are. But I tell you yeah, what, man into it. Man is that what John it. Chapman got one of them? No, he wants one. No, no, he's I think desperate. he's got. No, he's put is a deposit it... on one. He's he's actually, yeah, got, all right. Yeah, the last I spoke to him, he's got one. He's got I'll one coming. To, I'm gonna have to give him a ring because there is another there. one built. There was there was only ever like six, and yes, it I... turns out there's about eleven now because boys are just finishing the build. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But he's wonder, got one of the replicas. It's like Guy Martin uh, Fireblade replicas. That was guys like that's guys. But <laughs> there must be a thousand of those Guy is Fireblades right? getting around the place. But, Bloody hell! Oh, what was I gonna say? Bloody could, could, hell. It, it, sorry, like you know when you came back from that crash, you like when you went at the TT that year, you were banging around like one thirty. From the close to the edge to any ten. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah so yeah, when you yeah. came back, you came back for Philip. But you see, not you, so. banged out one, you went a one thirty three. You did a thirty three or thirty two. I think it was a thirty three. You know, 
Round the TT? Yeah. I don't know. I think it's a 33. No, but you see... That's well, I went quicker afterwards. I went Jesus, quicker afterwards, No, no, yeah. but that's the thing. You went from, like, Balagari on the Fireblade, the Wilson Craig Honda, you were, like, 130, 131s, and that was the year yeah, when it was... Yeah, yeah, Thing is, that's the beauty about the Isle of Man, is there's a pace, and that is the pace of the year, and everyone's pushing on yeah, that Yeah, the, tra- the track sort of dictates what the speed is. It, and obviously, what those boys done now is another level, in it? But they've had great... Well, you know, they've no, but, no, but, 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 but see, this but. is the thing, though, but the mad thing is, you went from, like, that, and then you came back and did a 30, it was like, Go on, Jackie, lad. It was just like yeah, but I, I, I could deal with that crash. I could deal with that my crash, no problem at all. Because yeah. I like I, I just take a very mechanical approach to it. Mm-hmm. I knew why I crashed, right? So I could deal with it. It's not yeah. like anything's happened out of my control. And if it if it was something out of my control, I'd have been walking. Okay, I was pushing on, and I was battling for the lead, right? Um, I just had a tank of fuel, right? Extra load on the front tyre, lost the front, and I thought I had it. I thought I had it, and I, I all went onto it right around the corner, right around the corner, and then I had to jump ship right at the eleventh hour. But at that time, I thought my trajectory was more or less just a glance off the wall, so I was all right. I was, I just broke it. It wasn't that bad. It wasn't that bad. I was all right. I, was all right. I have been around that corner. She's fast, boy, isn't she? She's she fast. But fast. What, what? My optimism is what saved my neck round there because I thought, you know, you've been there. You must have these every every, every day, like loot where you lose the front end. Like you know, you boys, you you boys, they, they save them all the time, aren't they? But I, I had one of those, and I thought, I've got it, I've got it, I've got it, I've got it, I ain't got it. <laughs> and but by the time I realised I hadn't got it, I was more or less around the corner. So that I just jumped ship, you know. Do you know, um, you've you've had a few goes on the Mugen electric yes, stuff, yeah, and yeah, also yeah. with the TV job, you've been doing quite a bit. I've seen that electric, electric beetle yep. and uh, and whatever. Yep. Yep. Um, if, sort of, of the, obviously the whole um industry's going electric. Yeah, yeah, it is, it is. Um, a fan of it? Not a fan. Like, what's well, your you thought? You can't knock it you tried it. We've got an electric car. We've done like, my, we've done like twenty thousand mile in that electric car this year in one year. Yeah, a little Honda. Yeah. How? Uh, what's Great the thing. What's the range on that? Um. Oh, it's a shit rain, but he does like at the very best, does like four point two miles per kilowatt hour. If you know what your numbers are, do you know your numbers? Four point two miles. He's a math teacher. Hours. He should yeah, know. Should <laughs> do, like, yeah. Kilowatt hours are like what's a kilowatt hour? Like twenty p an hour, someone's twenty p per. So he's doing like four point. 20p an hour. 20p per kilowatt hour. All oh, right, that's, I thought you said 20p an hour. I'm buying one. I'm buying an electric. If it is 20 pence an hour of driving. <laughs> the range I'm... is shite on it. The range is shite. It does like 120 mile at the very best. But good for popping. If you. But it's if... Made, well, 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 you can't lie. It does 20,000 mile in a year. And that's miles that would have been done in a diesel car. So, yes, yes, yes. Have this you got is, an electric got... van yet? No, because it's, it's, that's not realistic. I've just done. What did I do last week? I did like four and a half thousand miles last week. Went to Italy, went to Sweden, right? That's, that's never going to be a realistic option for something carrying any weight mm-hmm. because there's such a penalty to pay for the load for the batteries you know for, for the batteries and, and so the only way that that's going to be realistic in the trauma oh, well, well i'll tell you uh, um you did you come down you come down the m180 didn't you you see all the yes. speed cameras down there yeah. they, they close the lane off mm-hmm. and that's going to be the first electric motorway in the country 2024 i think that's going to be up and running Is that what they're yeah, doing? yeah yeah electric motorway yeah yeah overhead lines yeah so, 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 so well, that's big but scan you're a scan you're a prototyping trucks through sort of the firm I work for, sort of, sort of, sort of. Um, right. and, and, and that's sort of dual fuel in a way. They're going to run on electric lines during the length of the M180, which is like it's a long, flat motorway from Immingham, which is, is that like the biggest, I don't know, is it the biggest docks in the country, Immingham mm. docks. A load of stuff comes off Immingham down to the end of the M180. They've, they've so, got a similar thing like that in the past. It's called um, electric trains. Yeah, they know, do. Like that. Yeah, 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 same sort of thing. <laughs> that, oh, it, lines, it's that same sort of thing. But obviously, oh, yeah. when they get to the end of that, what they're going to do? So mm. then they have a diesel engine, they strike it up and away you go. But only for a short of... amount of time, so yeah, like the, yeah, yeah. the majority ah, of the journey's right. done electric. Yes. Uh, have you seen Tesla? Have got the lorries. Yeah, They've yeah, got yeah. big electric oh. lorries. The, the one about doing, um, you were talking about electric uh, planes as well. But what there was it's not realistic. What, it's, no. Yes, it is for short haul flights. Well, what they were saying is, if they can get high enough, there's um, the air's so thin that they don't actually need much uh, power once they get high essentially glide but then it's then it's a case of like how do the how do the how do you get speed when there's hardly any air up there yeah 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 so yeah, how do you yeah. how do you propel yourself yes. but if they can't yes. get up there you don't need you wouldn't Element need you wouldn't need much um much power to to travel at a very high f- speed okay. but it would be no if you could get up like almost to the edge of space yeah, 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 and travel yeah. fast okay, but it would okay. you maybe need um a combustion well then you the combustion engine wouldn't work that high so this is the most you intellectual in- chat we've ever had on like this rocket, show you know rocket would really obviously like rockets the self <laughs> yeah no no no, no, no. Yeah, yeah so like you know bobbler's air you are sorry bobbler's air no, area 51 no <laughs> what is it? Area 51, like Roswell and all that. Yeah, well, you know Area 50, 
No, they've I like, in the, in the, it's, in it's like, like a con- you know where the no, Americans kept Vegas. aliens and like you know fake moon landing. That's where they found and... this element one one five, like Muscovy. It's on, it's on the like the um, what's the scale called? What's the um, is this real? Conspiracy? No, 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 this is real. It's Moscow. It's called Moscovy element one one five. It made a Facebook. Like, conf- con- it, it contradicts all um, physics, and it, it, it's, just, it's just an amazing story. You need to look at Bobbles yeah, out. Look at Bobbles out. It's just an am- it's an amazing story. It's an amazing story. But, yeah. Yeah, and he discovered that oh, they've got the UFOs there, and that's what powered these UFOs, which is Element 115, and it's just like Moscow, Mos- Moscow. And they've actually found it, and it works, and it, it contradicts all forms of physics, so it can do anything. And it can just, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just, you need to look into it. It yeah, well, blew my mind. That's why right. it's sat in tractor listening to podcasts. That's all I know about all that. It blew my mind. <laughs> um, blew my mind. Just, so, 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 yeah, it's, 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 I think for short haul flight, yes, um, electric planes could be yeah 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 but it's, other than that it's the same sort of thing as what we're going to have to do with the truck world the trucks are never going to work electric because it's such a penalty to pay for, for 24 for, for, ton of yeah but, yeah yeah but you, obviously the road's got a 44 ton gross weight now with the trucks and the roads are suffering you see how the roads suffer around yeah. here right mm. so they can't subsidize you know you, the truck needs to be running like 30 ton you need to have needing to have 30 ton of payload for it to be profitable to run about so if, if half your payload is taken up with battery space and then you, you're just trying to charge it up and the the cost of electricity you know, you know, like that, that. We've got electric car. It's not. Yes, it's cheaper to run than electric, but it's not. It's not like it, it yeah. might be like half the price to run because we're paying like twenty p per kilowatt hour. We've had to probably like we've done twenty thousand miles. Probably had to put like fifteen hundred quid worth of electric through the car. You know, it's it's it's. They'd have you believe. Oh, it's not. It's not for nothing. No, no. no. Electric, electric is expensive. The, 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 oh, I can't talk to that. So, so the long term for trucks, I think, is still internal combustion. We're using hydrogen in internal combustion, right? Mm-hmm. So that's that's how that's going to go forward. So you haven't got the weight penalty to pay. But then it's how much energy does it take to get the hydrogen out of the water? You know, to, to do all that. You know, it's, it's the energy. It's, it's still costing energy in the carbon impact to pay for getting that energy to, to get that hydrogen out of the water. It's it's it's, it's, it's still the only thing that's going to stop all, that's going to sort all of this is um, from, from my point of view. I, 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 no, is 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 nuclear fusion. Like, and they're still 50 years away. Yeah. That's what they say. They said they that 50, 50 years ago. Years ago. So, so they, they, they said 50 years ago that it was 50 years away, and now they're still saying it's it's 50 years ago. You know, like the last Hadron Collider. Do you know, in, in terms Switzerland. of. It's, yeah, it's certain. I was mm. supposed to go there. And Is that right? For, um, you had the option to go there? Yeah, when I was um, I was racing that weekend, but like I, when I was doing physics at school, the, my whole class went there for a school trip. Do you know about this, the Hadron Collider in CERN? That's 16 so kilometers, the, no, 28 kilometers under underground. The, yeah, underground. Like and then the, and they make like it's oh, with magnet. Right. So basically, there was loads of um, yeah. theories about how the atom was formed. So that actually made a, and, and that, tested yeah, yeah, yeah. Black and hole, so the fire, it was like, yeah. So the, the fire them both. Higgs boson, that's, that was that sort of stuff. Yeah, so yeah. The, the fire them but um, basically into each other. They get to something like it's like almost the speed of light, but it's like 99.999% of the speed of light. And um, fire it round and then they smash them up and then they can see exactly how the, the atoms form but uh, yeah it's like you know more than me I just know that the only few is when we can obviously they'll get all this nuclear now is splitting the atom nuclear fusion right and you get all this energy to heat, to heat water to create steam to turn a turbine to create electricity right but the, the amount of waste products you get off the back of that look at that Chernobyls and your Fukushima yeah. and all that but if you can you can create that same energy with nuclear fusion by colliding the atom but you don't get the waste products well, do you, and, and that's about as much know as the, I know I think they're on the verge of um, discovering it but do you know the, the the whole problem is with nuclear waste but apparently there's like a liquid that they can put the nuclear waste in and it, it like sort, sorts itself out but basically if they sort out nuclear waste Waste. I know what it's called. Iron brew. <laughs> <laughs> it's made from girders. But do you know? Do you know like a uh, like a tiny Iron tiny brew bit. will kill anything. <laughs> it's fat. Do you know like um, it, in terms of like what you would need for nuclear fusion? Like if you could, if you filled that can amount, that would be enough to like to power like a city. The actual like things that you need. Do you know like say nuclear fusion? So that happens yeah. to fire into each other. Like that much there would power like a city for years and years and years, and it's totally green. So if they can work it out how to do it, that's the future. That's completely. Well, you know, like, this is what I think. There'll be no such thing as a national grid. We'll have our own power station underneath underneath the sink, and well, then your own truck. Your truck will have a power station in it. But then beyond then we'll have, we'll have, yeah we'll be levitating around the country or something like that. You know <laughs> we'll, we'll we'll have learned a lot more between yeah. Now and then. No, yeah, that 400 quick, mile an hour Bonneville will be a yeah, piece, exactly. piece, 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 piece. <laughs> oh, no, of no, A quick one on the, <laughs> um, yeah, on, yeah. the on the bike racing side of things. Out of all of the... T- you've r- raced for loads of teams, loads of team managers. Yeah, who's, yeah. Who's, who's, your, who's been your favourite team boss? Ooh, and your fav- the hell, ain't fav- you making me pick now, aren't you? Favourite yeah, team, teammate. <laughs> Shit. That's a 
that's a good question. I never really thought about it. Team not, boss, they've all, they've all had the pros and cons. Not one that I was, I was with Sean Muir for years, for like, seven, like four years, five years, four years. The Swan Sean days. Mm -hmm. No, it was before then. It was like Hydrex. Hydrex. Oh, yeah, Hydrex. And then yes. it went to Bike Animal, and then it went to somewhere else, I think. I think I can't really. Did it go back to Hydrex or somewhere else? Yeah, that road, he was mint. He was mint because he, he knew he knows I'm a dick, and I just you know I still go to work and I turn up covered in shit, and I just I just, I just look like I just like riding the bike. So he put up with that, and then Wilson Craig, I rode for him. He bloody he croaked, didn't he? What two? Not long ago. Two no, not long ago. ago. No, no, three years ago. Three. Years. No, it wasn't. Was it? Before COVID. It was. Yeah, I suppose you're right. Bloody hell, time flies, on it. BC. Yeah. Before COVID. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. So the, yeah, but he. Yeah, he just, yeah, he was mean because he just, yeah, I just did sort of things my way. Um, Philip and Hector Neil, like Philip Neil was my sort of main point of contact. He put me with probably the, lo the longest. Yeah. I tell you what, you the, that relentless bike, twin pipe exhaust yeah, on the jigsaw, that was the that best was levers team look. That was, a that that was, was a one year that, and he went tight the year after. Bike. That was my first year with the team, that. Right, that was course. by far the best looking bike I've I've seen on the grid. Yeah, so, so, yeah but then I would have those, like, teammates. Mm -hmm. I mean, then I got to the Honda. Like, I know that job went to shit, but I really enjoyed that. You know, because I got to ride the Honda Six. Because I'm like Neil Tuxford. I'm still, you know, I still keep in touch with Neil Tuxford now. Mm. You know, but it really, yeah, I suppose Neil Tuxford. But then it wasn't. It was like Johnny Twelvetrees was the sort of team manager. But my main part of contact was was Neil Tuxford. But then Harvey ran the Mugen side of things. So I like, was still like Shaz has She's been using Harvey loads for the motocross track because really he's. The, I think he's the same as maybe all of them failed motocrosser. He really wants to be a motocrosser. <laughs> yeah. Really. So he's he's had, yeah he's been helping Shaz a bit with the motocross job. Um, yeah, so that, they've all got the pros and cons. Boy, who didn't I get? Oh, like Hector Neil really fell out of me when I took the on job because I said I was finished like yeah. 2015, and I said that's me, I'm done. He said, well, anytime you want to ride a bike, he said, just give us a bell. Uh -huh. And then I went and rode for Honda, so I was being a bit dickheadish. Mm -hmm. But I said I got I got chance to ride the Honda Six. You know what I mean? Surely you would understand. That's it. That's you know, yeah. If you're listening, <laughs> you're, 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 you're sorry. <laughs> so Hector was the man, but he, yeah, and I understand him not because yeah. I did say if I ever ride a bike, it'll be for you. You know, mm. and then I went um, on it. But teammate, Simon Bugmaster, you didn't get on with him, did you? No, but I did afterwards. I did afterwards. Nice. Oh, did you? Yeah, just because he just the bikes were shit. Yeah, and we had to build them like we built them in my dad's shed in the end. It was just shit. He just tried fobbing us off with shit, and I just think he was. But yeah, yeah, I'm not going to talk. Made up, yeah. I'm not. Yeah, no, that it wasn't that we. I, I just yeah. Who's yeah. your favourite teammate then? Go on, favourite teammate, have... bloody hell! But I've never really had a teammate really. So you know, other like, than what? like William. William Dunlop, you know, you know, we've been a teammate, yeah, racing the same races. Mm -hmm. You know, all right, there was like James Ellison and there was Josh Brooks, Carl Harris. Oh, Carl Harris but they were all boy. super bikes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And like, all right, when I was doing the super bikes, it, I was only doing that to keep me half handy to do the yeah, road. Yeah. Oh no, but it's... I was never really a teammate, was I? Really, mm -hmm. someone Not you worked really. with, you know, like other rider wise. You know, you've got to but your eyes lit up when you said Carl, Carl Harris. Harris. Yeah. Jesus. Right. Well, I ended up meeting Steve Pete through, through Carl Harris. Like, I was an hero. The Steve Pete. The Steve Pete. Yeah, I ended up. Oh, Carl, oh yeah, we're off around for a barbecue one night. Well, yeah, 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 come round. I'm like, fucking hell, yeah. So I ended up going. Steve, Steve Pete. Steve Pete, downhill rider. Yeah. No, I don't. Massive man. Like, yeah, my I don't God, know. He was, was, huge. was he with the the? Well, it'd be the UK's most famous Gotta mountain be. biker. Wasn't Gotta it? be. When he do world, I don't know. Is that like what Danny Hart does? That's it. Like, no, like right? Danny Hart's like the like yeah yeah so yeah. Have you ever met Stefan Evitt? Have you met Travis Pastrana? No. That's who I want to be, Travis Pastrana. Yeah, just a doer, isn't he? He's like he's car just, driver, just the universal it, man, he's, the he's, man. He's the, the American. Man. He's like the American version of you, really. You know <laughs> yeah, what I mean? I'm not up to I'm his knees, man. man. But he no, but, you know what I mean? Man, he, just, he is just, the man. He just sees something, has a crack at it, and he no, oh, but he just did backflipping monster trucks and stuff like that. Jesus. There's a documentary called 199 Lives. You seen it? No. Travis, brilliant. Watch it. Basically, sleeps on like sleep um suffers from sleep out you know, and he actually has he suffer like he screams in the middle of the night he suppresses fear that much during the day it comes out to haunt him at night and he goes on the house screaming and stuff like that proper oh, and they're like in the morning like, all right everything like that and he's running through that's like, 199 Honestly. lives travis was trying to watch it all right Brilliant. okay I've talks about sound but he's got the most breaks of the human body without being paralyzed that's his guinness world record is, that's fair going that, fair that, play. that is a guy singing i'm just thinking yeah i'm just thinking yeah, I've had a few. yeah I've had a few. <laughs> let's see if we can correct that record yeah, straight off the bat i have had a few i was just yeah i was just thinking that's who in me will who got the metal work when the when the burners nigel gets the metal work there's some, there'll be some make, waiting, boy. There'll make, be some make, waiting. Make, make it like a, like a dog pen, a kennel. They are so there. Yeah, there's your, dad, there's your dad's bones. Imagine yeah. Nigel's like, like mental trauma there, Gav. <laughs> Is this a joke? <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> What's, 
You cruel bunch of. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't think of that. I didn't think of that. No, but, but I kind of yeah. Well -being, did I? I like it. I like it. Big fan of your work. Big fan of your work. But have, have you been over to Rossi's ranch? Yes. What was that like? Mega. Is it? Oh yes. Did you get on with Rossi? I, I, I get on with Rossi. Do you know what I mean? I've met him. Do you get starstruck around him? Uh, I hear, I hear a rumour. He's not a Tony Scott. <laughs> you know, as legendary as he is. Let's see your head party, mate. Let's see your head party. What's your view on low centre angle? <laughs> what are you like with a Dremel? <laughs> not as legendary as he is, I don't really. To, to be honest, I did get starstruck at Goodwood once. I, I didn't go I didn't go many times, but I went once and met Mick Dewan. Right, because mm. I, I, I read his book, um, The Thunder from Down Under. Matt Oxley, oh, I, just, I must have read it loads. Oh, just... Like double hard bastards, yeah. And I just I made him, and I'd, all I could say was, I read your book twice, mate. <laughs> That's all I could say to him. Sign me book, sign me book, sign me book. The go. man. I'll tell you who's the book. man. But no, 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 he's just a legend, just a, absolutely. And I spoke to him like a normal bloke, and he was just normal, he could talk about all sorts. But I don't know, you know, I don't, I'm not going to say, oh, I've got his fine. I don't know him. I'll tell you whose book I've just finished, which was mega. Uh, John Hopkins. I would re recommend that. Do you know, I American? It's called heard it on a podcast about yeah the re the release of his book. Is it it's worth a read? Is it? Oh, 100 percent. Yeah. Is it? Yeah, yeah. Life of m massive ups and downs and okay. Yeah, like wild man. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Proper some proper stories off off track. Okay. Um, but Get yeah, it. you'll you'll enjoy that definitely. Okay. Right, right, right. Um, in terms of bucket list, yeah. Is there anything other than I know you're you're 100 percent focused on the job, 300 the 300 mile an hour job. Yeah. Is there anything? That's sort of itching away. Other uh, than that, backflip. Yeah, I don't, I don't back really. Flip now. The backflip. You might have planted a seed there, boy. But I'm just thinking. I'll come and show you. My it's done. My, <laughs> my level of skill. How far would I get? I don't know. Guy, you've only just met me. I'm not exactly the most skillful <laughs> person. That and you did land it. I did you... land it. Bang. Woof. And rode away. Mm. <laughs> no, 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 no. Up both wheels. Bike sunk. Got off the pegs. Right. Fair play, boy. No, no, no. Hey, guy, guy, you want to do a backflip? I'll come down as a as a fat little mate, and you you can present the Channel Four can. If this fat little knacker can do it, I can do it. You know what I mean? I I am a hundred percent there. Let's see how that goes. It, Let's see how it goes. It's a question for. Don't you. use a phone pit. Right. Well, I did. Right. Okay. But you don't think that them boys? I um, Andy got bowls. You know the dog bowled. They do all the. That the. It's not, no, I'm not taking the piss. That's the, the, the dog bowls. Andy got bowled. Is he owns. He owns it. It's like a display team. They go oh, to like country shows and all that. It's called um, Dog Bold. Dog Bold. And they do all sorts of mental stuff. Right. And they practice to death in foam pits before the dare take oh, to the God. Oh, yeah, but them them lads are professional, so I'm just a uh, knacker from the North East side. Yeah, but you, see, you didn't do it in the foam pit. I just no, no, straight dirt, commitment. bang. Commitment. That's commitment, that boy. Practiced a few times on his push bike. BMX. Got it landed on me BMX. Did you? And then went yeah. on things, yeah. Um, get the two wheels off the ground landed. I thought, wait, motorcycle. Just, it, it, it's about holding the throttle. Thing is, if you go if you go up over, it, knock the throttle, you're killing that inertia. It's like, like I've only learned to ride more thanks to Sugar Tits. I'll, I'll have to explain Sugar Tits to another time. He's a good mate. He's a good okay. mate of ours. Probably a good mate. Cool. And the thing is, he's he. I've only been riding motocross this year, like first time properly. Yeah. And he was saying if the if the front's going down, rev the throttle. Yeah, yeah. I know picks that. the front yeah, up, yeah, back yeah. brake, go down. Yep. Yeah. So I approach the backflip on the motocross bike. Going, well, if I hold the throttle open, it's going to go. Keep going round. So, but the hard thing is, it was about I, I had to overcorrect my hand. So when I went upside I down, my arm was straight and like and held the throttle up and over. Because if I knocked the throttle off, the bike stopped and so stalled me there. So you started the run with your hand like right around and there, then, and then my arm was straight when I went upside down. Sounds okay. Not maybe just, maybe something for the face. future. Yeah, 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 now, yeah, yeah. This has got to happen. This is going to be proper. Here, so it's <laughs> so, gonna, boom, something with the hospital just there. Boy. <laughs> hey. Something uh, from <laughs> Grimsby. I'll leave you my number. I know well, boy. I'll leave you. I'll leave you my number. So if you need tips from uh, your, your books and stuff. <laughs> the, Go on, boy. Go on. A very uh, there's a, a clear sort of. Um, it's almost like what you live your life by, and it's there's that constant of being flat out busy with whatever you're doing. It's. Um, it's, a lot of people will be look will look at your life and look at your choices and stuff and think why like why do you like get up at half five and uh, graf, I work like that, that. Question all the time. but there's but I don't need an answer to it now I ask myself a question I don't, I don't I'm not even bothered looking for an answer I, I know yeah I know you mean but I don't know I don't know I don't know I just know that's how I'm wired it's just a preset that's just wired. how I'm wired uh -huh. yeah I, good it's but no, and it's the same with you no know, like say the push bike thing a lot yeah. of people would think 
that that sounds like hell to most people like 18 days yeah, of riding flat yeah. out but there's i think there's some th- there's like a sort of a meaningful um do you know jordan peterson i've listened to odd bits of his because my missus says oh you need to listen to this yeah he's I think very... you'd, be well, you'd be well into that and it it's it's um almost like setting like really difficult things and working towards them there's something like um yeah there's something like rewarding to the to the well i, I, I thought well any anyone could do what i do because i'm not i'm far from like a super athlete or anything like that but a mate of mine simon he, he's, he's a bit older he's a bit older than me right and I got on to him about my next ride. I'm going to ride to Kazakhstan. I'm going to, well, the goal is Kazakhstan. I'm going to see how far I can get him off. I'm going to see how far. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to see how far I can get him off from here, Grimsby to Kazakhstan. But yeah. Yeah. Um, and that is that boring? Uh, no, it's <laughs> the yeah. Borat run. Yeah. I like. Yeah. <laughs> That's good. That's good. That's good. This is my sister. <laughs> you need to listen to that podcast I was about. Um... Go on. What, what was it? I was just telling you about it, wasn't I? Mm. The Lazarus heist. Holy shit! When we're talking I'll about. I got on that. Yeah. North Korea, and about it wasn't gone. What's he called? John Peterson. No. All right. Oh, Borat. 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 What's his name? Um, Sasha Barakon. Sasha Barakon. Well Seth, done. Seth Rowan. Seth Rowan. South Park man. Anyway, they made a film all taking the piss out of Kim Jong Un. You, you need to listen to that Lazarus Eyes. Holy shit! Blew my mind. Mm. We'll get it on the list. Sorry, right, go on. I'm lost. I'm thinking, oh, Jesus, I'm just thinking, my God, you don't need to talk about that. I could talk about that. Oh, my God. Uh-huh. <laughs> don't, yeah. I don't swear around that one. Yeah, I'll have to, no, I'll, I'll get but it. But like you say, you were talking there. about like going through the hell of it. And like, and, yeah, like, push, push, no, push, no, push. no, sorry. I was talking to my mate, Simon Perry. Right? That was, we was good, and, and, and I was just saying, I was just saying, oh, yeah, well, somehow we got into the conversation. Because we always go for a ride in and around my birthday. We always go for a big ride. Um, to, to do whatever. And I says, oh, I'm not going to do that this year. I'm going to um, ride to Kazakhstan. He says, you come if you want. Oh yeah, yeah, and he, and he really thought about it, and he come down last. He come down on the opening of the motocross track or the first test of the motocross track. He says we'll get we'll get a plan sorted about how we're going to do it because I go and do all these daft rides all by myself. You see, I'm a bit of a loner when it comes to that sort of stuff. And I, it, it was it was a bit strange for me to invite someone to come on, but he's a right good old boy. Um, and then I thought he, we've got talking about it, and he he, he just kept saying, "Yeah, but it'd be fun, won't it?" And I says, "Yeah, yeah, yeah, it'd be fun." And then I sort of this was like the week after he texts me and says i'm not gonna i'm not gonna bother i'm not gonna bother i thought about it alone but then i, I really thought about it and i thought right well it's he, he kept saying no it's gonna be fun though isn't it and i said well, yeah yeah and i said no and i need I, 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 I was gonna ring him back before he texts me and say look sorry this, this isn't fun right i went and rode like last year no the year before i rode the arizona trail because i've I, the, 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 I always thought the tour of i which was canada to mexico was the toughest mountain bike, toughest longest mountain bike race in the world and yes it is the longest mountain bike race in the world but it's not actually the toughest the toughest one is the arizona trail race it's from mexico through arizona to utah and i thought oh, fuck, I can't, fuck i can't have that i've got to do the fucking toughest one haven't i and i fucking hated it and i really? fucking hate it but i fucking finished it and i fucking finished it i got you had to drag your bike through the grand canyon right because the wheels of your bike can't touch the ground that's the rule of the national park you the wheels of your bike can't touch the ground going through the ground and there's just and i thought oh i can do that because i've got a load of screws in my leg and i need a new ankle really but i just thought I'll manage because once you've got through the Grand Canyon, it's only 100 miles to the finish line. And I thought, I'll, I'll fucking do that. I'll do that. I'll, even if I have to crawl to the finish line. But I didn't realise before I got to the Grand Canyon, I'd probably walk the majority. I'd walk like 700 miles before I got there. Like you'd, you'd pedal little bits. And I was, I one bit I was in fucking, I can't even remember the name of the town I was. Like, it's in my new book, my new book that we've just read. Because right, they said, oh, I don't want to do another book. And I said, oh, fucking mint story about the Arizona Trail. Like. Right, and I fucking got up at like three in the morning because I'd kicked in a ditch and I was fucking freaking me. So I couldn't get up at three in the morning. And I'm fucking, I, I, so I set off at three in the morning on my push bike. I didn't pedal my push bike until dinner time, right? Because it was just brutal, dragging your bikes, grabbing up a hillside, taking your bikes a bit to get it through a fucking rock pass. Just, so I'm, I'm, this is what I'm so sorry, I need to get to back to the bottom. So I have to say to Simon, yes, yes, yeah, no, 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 none of what I do is fun, right? These long bound bike races, they are not fun, right, at all. But there might be like 0.001 of a percent of you, you think, oh, fuck. That was nice, that. But like, so I did the, I did, I did like the, the, the tour divide, and there might have been right, eighteen days, six hours, right. There might have been like five minutes of that eighteen days, right, eighteen days, six hours, where I thought, holy fuck, this is fucking amazing, right. So there might have been like five minutes through that whole eighteen days, right, where I thought, right, and but that five minutes, I will never forget, right. For the whole time I'm alive, I will never forget that. Right, I did the the, the the Arizona Trail race. Right, was fucking brutal. Right, there was probably five seconds. Of the, it took me like ten days to get to the end of it. it took me ten. There was probably five seconds where, where five seconds of memories that I will never ever forget. Right, so if so 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 this is what I need to re, sort of relay to Simon that if you um, 
if you're willing to pay that price, right? So yes, yeah, there's the, the fun bits of it, but it might be like, it's, it's fuck all, right? whether it's five seconds over a 10 day, but this is gonna be a month, so this is gonna be a month's ride, right? And I might enjoy it for maybe a minute of that, two minutes, maybe, five, maybe 10 minutes, I don't know. But for the, that, I will never ever you're forget that for the that time. Minute. Yeah, yeah I, I, I'm willing to pay that price. I'm willing to pay that price for, for like, 29 days misery you know 29.9 you know what i mean for, for yeah. that because i fucking i just fucking love Another, it. I fucking love it. and once you've had that i fucking got to the end of that tour divide i got to the end of that tour divide and it's fucking like 18 days and i fucking cried i was gonna say i fucking cried said that and i'm fucking like, i fuck you you're a fucking hard man you're fucking you wet cunt what you you know that's where <laughs> that's where what are you fucking crying for what are you and I, I just and I, I just couldn't believe what was happening and, and ever since then i've been chasing that i've been chasing that and i did the arizona trail race and it didn't do the same thing yet. i want to do that thing where i can't where it, I've got no control. I just fucking cried, and I'm. I, 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 wow. that's, what, that's what I'm chasing. That's, that's what I'm exhaustion. Chasing. That is beyond. I don't know. No, I don't know. Is... I don't know if it was that. It wasn't that because my body had got into a state where it could ride twenty hours a day, and I could have done that. I could have done that for the foreseeable future, right? I, I, I was all right. My body had realised, oh shit, this is what we do. Yeah. <laughs> we sleep in a ditch for four hours and then we pedal for twenty. This is what we do. And, and like the Arizona Trail was was the same, but I wasn't pedaling. I was just fucking carrying me bloody back. You know, I, I, I was willing to pay. I'm willing to I'm willing to pay that price, wow. and, 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 and but now I'm trying to chase that, and, and that's the fucking I'm booked now. I'm booked. You know, I just I, I just want that. I want that. Get to the finish line, and I fucking I'm, I, I had no control. I just fucking cried. Do you know uh, wow. David Goggins? Are you familiar with? Yeah, him? yeah. He's, I've listened to a couple. Of, what hard a fella. Man. He's big into that. All that. Why stuff, don't you do that yeah. for a program? Hell Week. Yeah, that'd be good. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now that well, would what be about, a yeah, What about the fucking? No, no. What's the what's the what's the running race called? The Tennessee. In Tennessee, is that that one where it's... You, you you have to be invited, and, and you don't even there's no entry form, you know, so you have to know someone that knows someone that knows. What's it fucking called? I haven't a clue, but I, it sounds like the Illuminati to me. I've never. Yeah, yeah no, no, it's, it's, it's something like that. It's a race in Tennessee. It's a race in Tennessee. What's it called? It's called the race. The, oh, I can't fucking fucking. Mate of mine in Ireland, Alistair Barron, he told me all about it. Mm. I was like, Are you into oh, your running as well, or is it? No, 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 no. no this is leg, another yeah. thing. This is another thing. Like, I fucking had to run somewhere. Fucking me tracked. I had to run to get summits the other day. I fucking, I'm fucking suffering for it now. I did the Arizona Trail Race and I, I knocked my legs, me let my ankles fuck because they did tell me I, this is like I come off of the, my first Southern Hundred, 2002. Yeah, have you done the Southern Hundred? Yeah, I've, yeah. I've my favourite meeting. Won a, won a few races. Oh, have you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Have yeah. you? Yeah, I'm talking about. Yeah. Fair play. Some <laughs> meeting that boy. Some the the best organised meeting. Been the, the, the best organised. I love it. I love it. I love it. Yeah, anyway, I, I, I was my first. I think that's the first time I broke a bone. Southern Hundred. First time. I can say there's a wall on the left and one on the right. Yeah, that's yeah. the one. That's the one. You've had that. You've had that. What? Yeah. What a place. And then the doctor said when he screws you, get obviously you're in the Alamo and they don't want motorbike race. He says um, that'll want that'll want redoing in ten years. And I thought, all right. Anyway, I've managed like twenty years. So <laughs> no, it's like, what, like, it's fucked. I've run. I'm struggling. If, if I run any distance at all, if, if I just carry, if I bike, no bother. But when I'm running, if I try and run, if I try and do, it just knackers it, it knackers it, and I'm fucking hobbling for a week. Right. So I, I, need, I, need, I need a new angle. You know, like, like I was about to say, get the new angle and go do like. That's what I'm thinking. Like, like a mental run, that, a mental that, run. Just that to try would be and... a good documentary just about the pain, the recovery of that, and then go and do yeah, that. That's the thing. Yeah. Have you ever been invited? You see, because I do think we're scraping the bell. When you say that, and you think, oh, well, yeah, I need that's, a new that's job. A I'm, I'm sick of cutting trees. I'll be a, you know, your director. <laughs> no, right, uh, right uh, let, unscrew his leg. Yeah. Now. Do you know that uh, yeah. the SS? Pro, I've never watched it, but do you know that SS program? My missus got me to watch that. She didn't get me to watch it. She just says, and I said, oh, no, 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 because that is don't, no, 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 that's. That's people that want to be famous, and yeah, maybe no. they're not—they're getting less famous. So to get more famous, they have to go on a celebrity show. I don't want to be famous. So what's the no, point no, of no, me no. doing any of that shit? That's why you... The, you, you. But you see, that's I'm not being disrespectful. No, or am I? Or am I? I don't mean. No, 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 it's just—it's just, just your honest opinion. I don't it? want to do any of that. I don't know. No, no, no that, that's no. why I think the Hell Week would be so good because like the SAS would never that's divulge. That's the Navy SEALs thing. Of course, no, but that's a world famous situation. No, no, the Hell Week. No, I mean. Yeah, hardly any people get through it, so it's the top That's, people yeah, go it to is. it. And on, basically, the the instructors, it's their job to try and make you Break fail you. that yeah, week. Yes, so yes. like they're waking you up every hour, taking you out at sea, they're trying to like drown you. The you're like you have Pouring to be hard as nails to get through yeah. to get through Hell Week. It's like the yeah. worst thing. No, no, I've, I've listened to a lot of podcasts about it. It just sounds fucking but right, up your, right, up <laughs> no, right up my street. Right on my street. Yeah, just brutal. No, but, brutal. but I'm not. I won't be quick. I'm not. I'm not like with bike racing. I'm not quick. I'm not quick. But I can fucking keep going. I can suffer. But that's, I'm good at suffering, boy. I can suffer. That, that's, that's the whole point of Hell hour. Week. You know what I mean? That's the whole point of Hell Week. It's about like trying to build something better than the are. But you see, the Hell Week situation is world famous because they're very open about how they do it. It is so well renowned. But our Majesty, Great Britain here, we're not going to diverge like and divulge any information what the SAS do. So it's almost well, make believe on you know the SAS 
it, you know, some of it will be true. The psychology. Oh, so of you it. think right? No, no. The SAS Who Dares Wins program is manufactured. Sorry, sorry, if you go sorry. do that, no, no. Like, and then you go Hell Week. Imagine. Hey, the song's there, isn't it? I would, look, I, I would have a go. I, I'll get my finger and cap on and get get some um, some ideas forward for yeah, new yeah, TV yeah, yeah, programs. Yeah. I mean, I'm not going to watch it. I can suffer. I'm all right with the suffering, John. Yeah, yeah. We'll see. I just think. Yeah, I just think that would be a good. That would be hell and shot, mate. Because then, like you, for even, to be honest, imagine you're going to do it even without televising it. It'll be interesting to get you on this show yeah, and again yeah, in two yeah. years from now. And go, how did you get on, baby? Exactly. How did you get on, that would be hell week. Would be beyond that's high end military yeah, like, yeah. that is I've high I've got to Kazakhstan yet we'll do that survive that <laughs> and then go do that there you go I've got my route sorted I don't know where I'm going do Good which country are you going to I'm going to go I'm going to get on the Rhine and that'll take me to like former Yugoslavia in around there so I'll go there so Croatia how are the back of Croatia Romania Istanbul across the Black Sea across Amen, oh man, no Amen. Caspian Sea, and then get to Azerbaijan, get the boat to be Kazakhstan. Hell of a trip that one. That's the plan. Yeah. That's what the what plan. did you say? A month. Just see how the goal is oh. to get there. How far can I get in a month? Right. Fantastic. Just I'm uh, all right. I don't. I don't give in. I don't get in. I'm just steady. Yeah. Good we've lads. got a, we've got a few questions sent in. Go on. Um, I'll get. Through. We've got one from Paul Watson, and his, I think it's his daughter sent this. So I'll just play it and then. Oh, sugar. Go on. Oh, it's, it's, it's go on, in. reset it, boy. Hi, guys. I'm Fiona. I'm nine years old and I come from the Isle of Man. And my question is, what's been your favourite achievement or victory? Bye. All oh, right, and good <laughs> lass. Thank you very much. Good question. Favourite achievement. Favourite achievement. Of, yeah, so, well, yeah, as we've said, told about crying at the end. I was, I'm just trying to chase that. Mm-hmm. I'm just trying to chase that. Just trying to get to that same Replicate thing. That. And then motorbiking. Like, Sort of like getting to the top of five feet with my turbo bike. I'd spent four years building in my shed, and that's and then the stop the stop bikes there now, aren't they? So <laughs> and, and and yeah, and that was mine was the only turbo bike to make it to the top. So so the the only turbo bike to make it to the top. There we yeah. are. I mean, it was shit. It was loads of problems, but it did. Made it to so, the top. Yeah, just just because I really that's it's, uh, that's what my whole sort of motorbiking was about. Really, was just trying to. But it took me a long time to realise the only reason I was racing bikes was just trying to make stuff better. Yeah. It wasn't about. Uh, measuring myself against competition it was just how could i get the bike mm-hmm. you know that's why i really like stuart johnson who was the main man at, at taz not the main man but he was like the and you know he was just brilliant he could sort of decipher my bullshit and then just say well i would try this or <laughs> try that and it just i loved all that because it was just like very mechanical i just yes. like, loved all of that mm-hmm. i loved all that so, so yeah yeah the fight the five speed i've got a few uh, sort of quick fire questions like a bit random uh, on, first first one i thought of this on the way down what's the best hundred pound you've ever spent in your life oh i like that well, like, I don't, yeah, I'd say some snap on, but there's not much you can get for 100 quid in the snap on, man. That's a constant in my life. Get the free to the snap on, man. Get to the snap on, man. Um, okay, now what do I use all the time? What do I use all the time? Bloody hell, man. That's a good question, oh, man. Best 100 quid I've ever spent. Okay, I'm going to say something. Shit, what am I going to say? I've like, we'll co- we'll we'll got a real good head talk. Um, you know, you... that's a bit shit, and I don't really, I shouldn't say something like that. <laughs> Well, have a think in there. You might uh, something else might think. What's the Steve Squeaky Ball? I just buy one hundred quid. He's just, he's just low, yeah, nine. Or under just... quid, under a hundred quid. We'll say like that. Squeaky Ball. He loves the Steve. Steve loves the Squeaky Balls. What's it just? Go on. What, what, you're, you're trying. You're trying to think of an answer, aren't you? I'll ask you another thing. And you, you, yeah, you go think, on. Go what's on. the Tim best? Describe. What's the best uh, like box set you've ever watched? Was it like Netflix or Amazon Prime or whatever? All oh, right. Okay. Best next. Uh, best. Oh, now, Sopranos. Right. right. I've never seen it. My dad watched that, but I, I never got it. Was that a gangster thing in America? Yeah. Tony. Really? Yeah, Tony. Tony Soprano. <laughs> yeah, I thought we were going to call the next dog Tony. Really? Yeah. <laughs> we don't go and go him yet, but yeah, Tony. Are, are you, you <laughs> Tony the gangster going through the living room? Like, anything, like my young and dog, like, we, we, like, there's a squirrel or there's a bird running out, we'll just call him Tony. And we've got like a big bird, we've got like a big buzzard lives at the top of the lane, big. We call him Tony. 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 Yeah. Just after Tony Soprano. Yeah, Tony. 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 Yeah, Tony. 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 Yeah, you've got it. Would like to shut the yes, that's Tony. great. But then my missus got right into Breaking Bad, but then I, I, it never took me. It uh-huh. never took me. How old is Dottie, by the way? She's just turned four. I, I've, I've not seen her for I haven't seen her for a couple of three weeks. She's been there over in Ireland. Do you think? Um, do you think she'll be into the? Is she, like, does she come and sit and watch you? No with the interest engines? in the shed. 
Really? Not yet. No not interest yet. in the show. Not yet. No, Daddy, no, 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 no. Daddies and daughters. You yeah, wait till she yeah, gets yeah. a bit older. There you go. You're yeah, stuffed, you don't know, son. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna force her in anything. And I, I think it made like my dad really maybe didn't want me to race because he knew. So that made me more. So I think if yes. you if you're pushing him into it, I don't think. So if, if she wants it, she'll find a way of making it happen. Like I found a way. And like yeah. yes, he helped me when I got going. He helped me. Yeah. But I, I made it happen, and it gave me the kick up the ass, and that's what gave me the the hunger for it. You know what I mean? I, yeah. Oh, I totally. No, that's how I'm. I was raised. But I tell you what, I can't wait to see him changing a first wheel in the yard and the snap on guns on his side. Put the fucking snap on gun back. What have, what have I told you? For God's sake, wait till I get Tony to bite you. Oh God. We'll see how she goes. But she's not so. No, she's mad for unicorns and osses. But I say we're not having an oss. You can have a motorbike. You can you can't have an oss. Just put a cornetto on its head and off you go. There you go, there you go. I've got Luke. Have you ever Luke? Are you have you ever interested in doing the classic TT? Fancy giving Dom. Oh, that was a rum do that the classic TT. I went to do it once. You went to do it. Um, yeah, that was the first year. That was the first year because it was the first year. Yeah, went from the Ulster, went over, and I think you missed. Oh, you just missed out on qualify. No, but it was like two days. You could easily, in my opinion, you could easily got on the bike and. Mm. Yeah, yeah you go. Well, no, no. The rules are the rules, and I yeah. didn't know the rules. That's Andy it. Molnar had very had first developed that it was the first four valve Manx, right? Yeah. So we built the first prototype engine, um, and he knew if I'd have had some involvement with it, I'd ride it. Yeah. So he gave me a head and said, "Right, you port the head, and then we'll build a four valve Manx, and you'll ride it at the Manx." I said, "That's mint, mint, mint." So whatever way it was, the Manx started on a Monday, say. And the, and the 500 race was on the Saturday. So whatever, I couldn't come on the morning because I was working. So I, I came on like the Wednesday night so I could practice Thursday, Friday and do the race Saturday. So I get there on the Thursday morning or whatever it was. Went to sign on and they said, no, your first night of practice has got to be before the Wednesday night. But I had been there. I, and the rule, that was the rules. And I'm not going to yeah. argue with them. But the, the, I had been there, what, six weeks before, eight weeks before. At the Isle of Man at TT. At the Isle of Man TT doing. So I just, I, 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 all I did was turn around, get in the boat and go back. And go so you might out. do it in the future, possibly. Well, yeah. The, not even want to scratch that itch. I, it should have bit me before, right, I was riding around the TT, right, I've done, done it for, what, 11 years, 12 yeah. years, right, and I was riding around there thinking, what am I having for tea, what's happening at work? Right, that should have bit me in the ass, I shouldn't be here, mm-hmm. right? So I was lucky, I got away with it. I'm not, I was just bored of it. Like, as great as it is, I was just the same, you know, it's the same thing and it's two weeks and I'd rather be at bloody work. I'd rather be at work and I just, yeah, great, great, but no, 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 I'd, I'd just, I'd, I'd rather be, I'd, 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 just going over the same thing, to do what? You know, I didn't win, I didn't win the TT, would I win a Manx if I was lucky someone brought down, might, I might do, but I didn't, I didn't put enough effort in, I didn't put enough effort in because I had too much other stuff going on and do I regret that? No. No, I don't. No, I don't. Because for me, it was all about trying to better what you had, mm-hmm. right, to get the most out of it. And that's when we... Would you put someone on one of your bikes? Now, the reason I'm asking that is, is like, you know, the man and machine, 37 mile long lap. Yeah. 264 corners. Would, yeah, you, put some, would, you, would you put someone on one of your bikes? Yeah, well, I'm, it's not my bikes, but uh, not, Barry Gissing, I don't even know Barry Gissing, the uh, best tide, but Jim Hines rides for him, there's a few lads rides for him. I do his motor, I've done his motors for bits and bobs. Right. But he, uh, I'm building a bike for Jim to ride at the TT next year, but it's, it's not my bike, it's, it's Barry's yeah. bike that I'm building for him. And they said, would you go over and do his wheel change? I don't know what, right. what. I don't know. I said, uh, Is that on a big bike you're doing? He's, do, he's doing, yeah, he's riding, he's got a, his bike's in there. It's a, G6 thousand, right? But then he's, he's six hundred. So yeah, to, to go oh, and yes, be involved I, in the. T- I, I, no, I, no, I'm I've just not said yes. I've not said no. I've just. Yeah, no, I'm just wondering. You know, Bill. You, you know, you know when you're talking about. No, no, no. Over. I'm not even meaning that. I meant the fact that you're such a passionate engine builder. You know, yeah. frame build and everything like that. Yeah. You know, if you just went, look, I'm going to build a classic bike. Would you put someone on that to yeah, test yeah, that yeah, machinery? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I just because they've been so sort of open with the five hundred rules with it, and that's that's my next goal. I'm going to build a cylinder head for me triple. I'm going to build a four valve for the triple. You know, I've just, and, and if I could get that ch- chance to race that over there, that'd be mint. That'd be mint. Sort of. Would you want to pilot it though? So you're a man who builds your own machines. Yeah, and I like riding my own them. stuff because so fe- I've got the feel for it. And yeah, uh, there you go. Let's, let's see. Let's see. But that's my goal. I want. Oh God, I yeah, yeah. 
I'd, that's what I think. I've got to sell a bit more gear. I'm going to buy a five axis machine. I've only got a three axis. I've got a five axis CNC. I'm going to get a bill to hundred. Ah, this three. backflip video will get you some videos. Yeah, yeah. Where yeah you know what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying. I'm, yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. No, no, I'm not writing well, it off. I'm not writing off. But to, to go and race at the top end level with the sole purpose of going and, and winning, then no. No, no, no. no I'm that's, not. That's not. That, that's. And to, to be honest, it took me a long time to realise that's why I'm racing. Yeah. <laughs> Team well, manager, maybe don't want to hear that now. But really, it was just about bettering the bike, and I and and, and probably got to the level of my talent and it won't go any further mm. you know you know what i mean but that, that was i was happy because we got the best out of the bike. yeah got uh, a, uh, go on boss go on good question here from craig dunce about uh, the attempt to cycle around the coastline of britain oh that went to shit yeah, yeah. is any plans to to trip to, I, the goal? to be honest i still keep thinking about that because the record was set at like what is it like 28 days Jesus. Yeah, 28 days. The whole circle you won't think how far that is you know That's... the whole circumference of the country is just over five thousand miles you wouldn't think that, would you? Mm-hmm. In out, in out, yeah. in out, in out. Which is which is doing, but no, I I started and yeah, I only got to John O'Groves. But that that year, that year, I raced across the desert in China doing a TV thing there, which was like bloody four hundred mile. Right, and then I went to, well, before then I'd done the Tour Divide. But, but the, the the only reason I set off on that was because I'd done the Tour Divide and I was so mentally strong after finishing the Tour Divide. I thought you can chuck anything at me, I'll fucking do it. Mm-hmm. And that's why. No, to be honest, I think I came up with that idea. And I and they ended up in a right hole because they would set everything out to, to film it over a month, and I only got like ten days in. Not even that. Not even that. I think I've only got seven or eight days in. So no, no, that is an unfin- that is unfinished business. But I would go about it in a very different way. I thought because I was so hard, you know, I sort of, I was just because I was so mentally strong after doing the Tour de Vie, I thought I can, I'll do it. Um, I'll set off for the start of December, and I'll get back for the goal was to get back for Christmas Day. And I, like you get up in the north of Scotland, you had like that bloody five, six hours of daylight, you know, and, and I, you just, well, think, just man up, man. just man up to it, man up to it, but well, that, that played a massive mental part, having so little daylight throughout the day, and I would never, I would never have thought that until I was put in that position, and I suffered, I suffered, boy, mm. I suffered, and I got to there, and I just said, look, well, this isn't happening, a lot I of am people, knackered. A lot of people suffer through the winter with, is it SAD, S-A-D, seasonal, and is it anti-depression? Right, just, yeah, just yeah, 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 and yeah, um, yeah it's, um, it's something people don't really think about the light, but it's it yeah, does play a yeah, massive. Yeah. There's a place in. Um, have you ever heard of Rukan in Norway? It's where the oh, t- high suicide rate is for us. But it's where the um, tele. Um, what's it called? Where the British soldiers. Fl- f- uh, oh, tele skiing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah well, yeah. the there's a hydrogen plant at the top. It's like a heavy very water plant. That's what there was going there for during like the war. Yeah, yeah. Well, Rukan is. It's such a steep little a, a valley that. Uh, so they sometimes only get like 30 minutes a day of oh, daylight shit. so there's the like about 100 years ago they, they built a cable cart and for all the factory workers just to get some some daylight Honestly. on the lunch breaks they would go up to the top otherwise it's like it would just be dark all the time and it's like depressing yeah yeah but, yeah, yeah. yeah yeah well there we go there we go um, is that right telly mark my god heroes of telly mark that was that's the, the one yeah, yeah it's yeah, a movie yeah, a movie story, about yeah. it because that that oh, one Marines, yeah that one you know about this it's a serious story that boy that Seriously one um, heavy water that was about um the, hydro, the, the nuclear bomb right the germans were going to get to it first so yeah but that oh, the fucking story so that one power plant uh, at the time was powering like 30 percent of norway's electricity so basically it would have been massive if the germans got there and the, yeah it was like it played quite a pivotal uh thing in the um during the war yeah yeah mm, yeah massive but uh yeah cool place to visit if you ever get you a chance do. listen to this listen to this. this is another podcast that i listen to it's called the bomb it's a bbc podcast and that's all about the nuclear bomb. You need to look at it. Anyway, anyway, the bomb. Have a look. Have we'll a look. have to look at Honestly, that. Honestly, boy. Yeah. <laughs> head melt. I'm checking my head, boy. I'm checking my head. Yeah. Yeah, but the, 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 yeah, the, the power generation. That's where it's going to stop. But we, we have, we, yeah. Nuclear right. fusion. Nuclear fusion. That's, that's it. Everything is sorted then. Everything is sorted. Life is good. Life is on it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but then they'll find another way of getting Western disease in. Yeah. You know what I mean? They've got to try and corrupt yes, I the masses agree. with Western disease. Don't get me started on that. <laughs> <laughs> well, that'll be a, that'll be on another episode. Yeah, that you one. don't that. We'll get you on a revisit. We'll get a revisit. And I, I've got one final question to finish on, f- from me. Um, so you, it's a theoretical stag do. <laughs> Five people. It can be living or dead. Right. Five people to take from. Oh, shit. Who would it be? Who would I take? Well, who's the Nigel first? Nigel Stephen. Yeah. There's, there's two. Nigel Steve. Who's the, who's the one first? Two pair of piss heads. They'd be, they'd be wasted. <laughs> no way. You probably want, you probably time. want Genghis Khan, won't you? Because there's some stories there, like two thirds, two thirds of the world landmass. He, he ruled. Like you, 
I, I want I want like, I'm not I, I'm not left I'm not right I'm not either I'm not mm. either I'm not I'm not I'm just I just sit and like to sit and watch and just observe, I, I don't, observe. I'm not but I want Putin like shit there's some stories going on there isn't there my god what an interesting <laughs> yeah I, want, like I, want, there going. I want I want big Vlad up there my god hey yeah, and, and like I'm again, again. Just put him just sitting there. Did you yeah, know? Genghis Khan, Putin, and I, who else? Who else am I having? Like really, just to top that. And I'm, you, I don't want to be judged on this, but I just think you, I want to ask Hitler a load of questions. What was your thinking? Because he was sane. The man was sane. Cause I, read, I just, I read, I read a load of books. You just, yeah. I tell you what, you've got, you've hit the nail. That that's only three. three. That's only three. No, that's only three. But you're right, though. Aren't you? You're just sitting there, just going, look at Come on, boys. What, what, was, what was the crack? <laughs> What's the crack? Jesus, what? That's a great crack? answer. What's the crack? <laughs> right. <laughs> I tell you who's I've just because I tell you chucked in amongst that lot, Mike Tyson. Right. Yes. So he's coming. He's coming. That's four. Yeah. Right. Because he's that's an intellectual man there. I'm not because I've just they just fry my brain. Man. He's got a podcast. I don't know what it's like. It's called Hot Box, and you know, he's got this big thing with marijuana. <laughs> Make. Right. He's, he um because he in, smokes a lot of weed in the state that he lives. It's been legalized, yeah. so he sells yeah, yeah. sells marijuana, and he's got a podcast called Hot Boxing with T- Mike Tyson. Mid. Shit. So yeah, my so last man, four. your last man, who's your last man? Oh. I think I would like you. I just had the big man on him. I call Nigel the big man. <laughs> the big man. <laughs> yeah, he come. Yeah. Because <laughs> he's got a lot of stories. Like... He's got a lot of stories. That man. I guess I take I make up all sorts of deaf stories about him. Like yeah, yeah. We like we do we do a daft calendar every year, right? And there was one about yeah. He was like he was like double double agent. You just and some of the stories he comes out with and his times like in in like North Africa, like the start of the SAS. He's just some stories that man. Yeah, I could talk about him till the yeah. Stupid, you know, just stupid stories. But just you look in his eyes though. There's fucking more to him than dog, there's I'm more. He's you. switched on. He's there's more to on. him than a dog. Like you look in Steve's eyes. He's just a dog. He's just a dog. <laughs> he just likes his balls. You look in Nigel. Fucking hell, man. He's sitting there with a pipe on an evening, reminiscing, soaking it all in. Stories. You could just see. God, lad. Oh, like a fucking. I'll tell you between what. that and he's, he's in the, like his, his days at UK. I've got the pictures in the shed of him. He spent some time there. Obviously, down to the stone of success, or the back of Nigel's prototype work. There we are. You need to, yeah. You see the pictures. <laughs> God, Don't yeah. get me started. So yeah, that's who we're taking. That's who we're taking. That's the table. I tell you what, Mike imagine... Tyson. I'm just thinking, who else? No, who else would I? No, no, that's it, isn't it? That's it. I, mean, I don't care. That's very not. That's not politically it, correct. Is... But are you? Are you a very? No, not at all. We're, 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 we're an open book here. Yeah, so right. well, I'm, but I'm not. I don't want to be. I'm not left. I'm not right. I just. I just. No, it's no, interesting. I think. I think. It's Gen- it. Genghis Khan. He was. Um, he's like had sex with them. Is it? Is, did he have sex with like more women than anyone else in the world or something? Yeah, but I think that he one in three now can still trace their descendants back to Genghis Khan. Yeah, uh-huh. I think he was Peru and ended up in. Sorry, he was from Argentina and ended up in Peru. Yeah, yeah, one in three now can chase their descendants back to Genghis Khan. Yeah, that's Khan. mad. So I, I was, we might be wrong. Do you know? Speaking about podcasts, Gandhi would be a good I was one. listening. I was listening. Not being really good, practically fair. <laughs> no, no, no. A bit of a roommate, to be fair. Isn't it? <laughs> I was just listen- trying to, I'm just trying to picture Gandhi versus Hitler, trying to have a, like a proper heated discussion about like. You know, there might like, be Hitler might have had sense. There might have been. No, but you, imagine, imagine serving in Weatherspoons and a lad's busy day. Like, I taught me to alarm you, sir. But Hitler, Putin, <laughs> Gandhi, Nigel the Dog, and Guy Martin are over there having a few pints. I am. <laughs> I'm well, sorry, but I'm taking my shift did, early. I'm did, you, gonna... did you enjoy uh, speaking of uh, Putin? Did you do you know when you were over in uh, Russia doing the filming work? How yes. did, I've never been really fascinated by what the place. What an amazing place! What an amazing place! Such friendly people. Right. Because we was really worried about not getting into the country, but obviously because that was right at the time of go on. What was it called? The uh, nerve agent yeah. in right next to Thruxton. Salisbury. Salisbury. Yeah. That's Salisbury. It. Yes. Yeah. And that was we was getting on the plane right in the middle of all that, all right? And we lands in Russia. The, 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 what, obviously, the TV put such a lot of planning into that, so they had to go there and get refused entry for them to be able to get the insurance. So they said, whatever, um, you're going out, right? And then you get refused, and then the insurance will all be sorted. And we got out there, um, and no one gave a shit. Oh, England, oh yeah, we've heard of that. That seems like a nice place. <laughs> no one gave a shit, it was mid. Like, oh, we've heard of England, that seems like a nice place. Well, you know from I mean? Salisbury, oh, so, nice. so, just, that was so 
irrelevant. You know, because we're just seen as such this mass power from all of the external propaganda that we get fed here through all the BBC and the news. Which is nothing wrong with that, but we're just seen to be this big global power, don't we? But outside of this little island, no one gives a shit we are. No one gives a shit. And that was just a, that was just a great example of that. And then we got out there and it was brilliant. It was brilliant. Just, that, did we have like nine internal flights when we were there? Yeah, we did some flying. We had like, one of them was like six hours. We got to like the Chinese border to where, oh, I'm trying to think, Lake Baikal, deepest lake in the world. Yeah, we got out there. And then we had like a, um, the truck we got, we got about and was like a bloody, um, a WAS. I called it, is it UAZ WAS? It just looks like a, like a mini Volkswagen transporter, but like a really old school thing with the wheels really inset. And they would, there was more, like more off-road capable than a Land Rover Defender. There was an amazing thing. We just got about in that and it was mint. It was mint. Then we went to, oh, I went to, like the Space Museum in Moscow, and it was just like the people that took us around were just so proud, so proud to be Russian, so proud of what Russia had achieved in the space race, and then just like that, just amazing. And just like a, a bloke sent me a bloody American space pen off this, what I'd said I'd said in an interview somewhere. Um, a ver America had spent like three million dollars <laughs> developing a pen that would write in space with zero yes. gravity. And the Russians just took a pencil. <laughs> but that wasn't it. actually correct because a bloke sent me the correct pen with the story that backed that up. And I'm just right. like, oh, but he was mint. What a kind bloke to send me the pen with a yeah with a proper with a proper space. Pen. But just it was just so patriotic. So just what yeah. And then we got into like because oh, that was so, yeah. I was sort of what was that? I was planning to go on another push bike ride, but up round the Arctic Circle up. Um, you know, the Arctic convoy, that second world war, all the boats were sank and we was up, we were just, oh, just, what a beautiful country, what nice, polite people, just such a foreign country. I just, yeah, yeah, from, from a country that really stands out. Mm. Like, I went to Japan, and the only, to be honest now, I said, look, I said about, they haven't got anywhere off the back of me, other than the Pikes Peak, but we went to Japan off the back of me, because I went there with Yamaha, with Kawasaki through a magazine thing and then with Honda mm. and every time I gone I might have gone there for like three or four days at a time and every time I come back I was just like holy fuck couldn't be if you'd have told me you dropped me on Jupiter I'd have been like yeah yeah it's mad in it it's mad. <laughs> like like, a, like another planet it's such an oddball place but then we went out there for the TV thing we was out there three weeks and I came back thinking oh no it's quite westernized really it was quite normal you could have gone they didn't feel like now whether it was just because the previous time that I'd gone was just for a short bit of time mm. You know what I mean? And I come back thinking it was alien, and, and we went for a long period of time. It was just quite normal. But but Russia was, yeah, was out there, out there, just like the underground, just people are polite, people. But not that they aren't here. I mean, they are in Lincolnshire. You know what I mean? And, and you get to London, and everyone's got somewhere to go, and the badge and the going, and it's just like everything had to be done yesterday. Whereas just like, Russia was like that. Everyone was rushing about. But it was just so polite, so right. polite. And there was like this, yeah. There was like a, 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 a dog, a dog that was a statue in the underground. It was like a beautiful underground. It was all like, like oh, beautiful. It was beautiful. And, and then his dog, but it was like a lucky thing to rub the dog's nose. And like the majority of people that walked past this, the, the, the dog's nose was like brass. The dog's nose was bright silver because of people, people. The people just, everyone just so, yeah. You know, I don't know what the right word for, for that is, but just. Humble. Yeah, no, humble. humble but, no. but just so into just, yeah, nice. But you know, the propaganda that we're given about Russia is that they're all bad and mean and it's Spies. all anti-Western. It's all... No, I just yeah, I came away thinking what. An I'm I'm a country. big believer in uh, f sort of going as I find with, with exactly people and exactly like, with that. The amount of people say, oh, he's an asshole. No, 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 no. I'll, I'll, I'll make my own mind up. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. No, what, what, an, what an amazing. Yeah, yeah. Now, yeah. Well, obviously, me and um, Stag do. We poo in. I'll suss him out, <laughs> see what the crack is. Go on, what's the eventual goal, big man? Because <laughs> I do say he's like the richest man in the world. Don't they? Really? Yeah, this all. Yeah, yeah. The richest man in the world. But we went. We went like, like, we, we, the plane landed. The plane landed, right? And we just, we just thought, obviously, we're going to get hauled straight into security and say, no. Um, obviously, the Salisbury job is all. Like, you've got to go back home. No one gave a shit, right? And we went straight from there to um, Square. Moscow. Yeah, what's the, what's the square called? Kremlin. Yeah, the Kremlin. The Kremlin, there's a square, red square, red square. Anyway, we were, we were straight in there. We were straight in there and no one gave a monkey. With cameras and everything, no one gave a monkey. The security guy came over and asked what we was doing. And he says, all right, on your way. No bother. And there was like Stalin's tomb there. It was, it was just mint. What an, am yeah. what oh, an amazing experience. What an amazing experience. Yeah, so I've got to look at stuff like that with the TV. Yeah, it's mint, getting opportunities to do stuff like that. 
Yeah, but they, they did say, where do you want to go next? And I said, I want to go down the Gaza Strip and Beth Bethlehem and see what the crack is. But that's, that's a bit, the insurance <laughs> won't really go to that. Because that's just such a, I, I know little bits. I know little bits. I don't know enough. Like a little bit of information is dangerous, isn't it? Mm. And I just, you know, what's you know, actually happening? You know you know enough to get in trouble, but not enough to get yourself out. Exactly. There you go. That's My missus one. tells me that all the time. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> or, you know, like where else? Where else? Where else? Yeah. I mean, love all stuff. You know, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? Yeah. Good lad. Yeah. Well, I th- to be honest, I think we've got it. We'll probably uh, have enough for two podcasts. Uh, exactly. that's right. fantastic. No, thank you. Absolutely. Thank you. No, 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 no. Because no. I, I, to be honest, I, we do stuff like that. Like you would text me ages ago. I'm, I, I don't want to talk about myself really. I'm not a vain person. But look, I've just fucking come on in. I've been talking it's about it. But I, I love once you get me talking about real stuff. I fucking love it. I yeah. love it. But I, really, I don't want. I don't want to do. But then you get me. Uh, yeah, it's mint. We have a now. We've had a brew, and it's, it's mint. I yeah. can talk till the cows come home. But and, I'm not. You know, I don't. Yeah. We we'll, we'll always uh, give a chance at the end for um, uh, it's usually like social media plugs, but I know you're not on social media. But obviously, your new books just came out. Yeah, 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 um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Which yeah. Uh, remind us what it's called. Shit, you need to fucking. I need to bloody tell you. Um, my missus come up with the idea because there was all. For, I wanted to call it a load of different wanky names, and they said we can't. You can't have that on a video because <laughs> they've got to have it. Oh, uh, what, dead, what, ma- dead men don't, don't tell, tell tales. tales. Dead men don't tell tales. And we was watching. We was watching. What was he watching? It might have been Sopranos or something. And like some gangster said that, and she says that's what you should call your book. I says that's a good idea. We'll call it because I've come out with all these wanky names before. Full they can't have offensive Tony. names. <laughs> yeah. Yes, they can't have offensive names. Because it's always what's going to go on the Morrison show. What's going to go on the WH? Is he WH? Is it WH? Yeah. Is it well, whatever? It, it's got to be able, and, it, and they won't have that on there. It can't be. So that's what. Judges whether we can. My evening with Hitler and Putin. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's the next book. But that's I'm not being. I just want to know what the crack was. Oh mm. no no I don't mate. I I'm think not, it's I just brilliant. Mate, I couldn't. Ag- I think it's a brilliant answer. Actually, sit down again. Where were you at, mate? <laughs> like it would be and such. Then, yeah, and like Tyson, because he's. I just. I'm, I'm not going to say a word. I'm just going to like just yeah, sit back and watch the, the crack. Crack. Come on, boy. Yeah, <laughs> I'll just keep bringing the beer. Just keep yeah. bringing the beer. Just keep <laughs> supping them up. There you go. Are you still selling your hats and everything like yeah, that? Yeah, plenty so... of bubble hats, boy. We've just come out with a new one. Is it uh, guy, guy Martin.com for you, all of your I think merch it is. and that? To be honest, I don't. We, I don't really do. Me and Chrissy have got a better one for you. They are present for us, lads. There you go. There's a chase in the race and hat for you. Thank you very much. You've just come out with a new one. I've not had one yet. Well, I've got. I've got the prototype one. He just. You always want to know about because it's very. Um, thanks very much. It's no very. Um, is it terror? No, that's wrong. The farming's very not territorial. You're either a Massey man or you're a John Deere man right. or you're a you know. Yeah, mm-hmm. I know but, what you mean. But it's very mm, one or the other. Mm. Well, well, I'm a John Deere man, so I'm just keeping it green. That's the sort of saying if you're John, you're just keeping it green. Yeah. So keeping New it green. Holland, keep it blue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But then, <laughs> but then I say that, and then like JCB with the track have been mega. Right, and this was just to, like I give my like my point of contact. I just give Shadow the email, and she contacted her. That sounds very funny, with that, aren't they? <laughs> um, and, and they, they, yeah, they gave us a three hundred and sixty skid steer, and, and, and a dumper. You know, without really asking for help, there was mega. There was mega. Fantastic. Was mega. So yeah, stuff like that, mega. mega. And then we've. Um, are you still involved with that prop, proper cleaner? Is, yeah, is, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, is it all on your website? The, all yeah, yeah, stuff? yeah. The proper cleaner is, which I, I'm. I think that's the future. Yeah. Yeah, and it's, Without, it's, it's going all right. Because uh, am I right in, in saying it's transported? Uh, yeah, it's, it's like the mix, sachets. so you don't sachets. need the water, yeah, so yeah, it's yeah. better for the environment. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's, yeah, it's just loads less faffing about. You can just put it back in the bottle again. I mean, we've done it for a few years. It's mint. I use loads of it. Loads of it. Wash me van with it. The wheels, not the paint. I'm very particular about <laughs> me. Very particular about me. Oh, missing any, uh, missing any other plugs. There's the books, the proper cleaner. Your I'm merch, not really into plugs. I'm not really into plugs. Well, there you go. You're a bit, well, I don't you're, know. You're I don't a, know. You're a busy man all the time. Well, though. I don't know. I'm just, I'm just thinking, right. I don't really. I obviously want to go like um, vertical machine centre, five axes, like 800 in the X and the Y. Nice. Right. Second hand machines. I don't know. Get hold of us somehow. Like, you know, you know what I mean. That's, that's, I've got three axes CNC, like X, Y, X, Y, Z, Mint, right? But for doing a cylinder head, I don't want to be doing like 20 different setups. No. And if you're doing 20 different setups, so you can, someone's going to go out. So if I could do one in like a couple of sittings. So you, you need a five axis for? You could do it on my three axes, but that means you'd have to do it in like out, 20. Reset, reset, out, reset, and every out, time reset, there's compromise, reset. there's compromise. There's compromise. And you I just offset that, just that tiny bit of it's wow, not, yeah. bollocks to it. So, See what I'm saying? So, yeah, there's anyone listening mean. that can help you out with that? Yeah, well, I know, I know, yeah, yeah. So, I know, I know what I want, but I know what to want to do. I just need pointing in the right direction. There you are. So, I've sort of gone down a different road with a CAD cam, and I sort of know, and I just, but that's the eventual goal. That's the goal. And I've always, right, that's the goal. I know that. I know that. Right, how are we going to get there? So, 
Perfect. There we go. And awesome. a huge thank you to our patrons and our uh, sponsor, Colchester Kawasaki. And uh, yeah, massive, yeah, huge thank Fair you for, for all of your time. And uh, oh, I've, I've, yeah, honest, I've honestly, like, thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed just sat talking, even not, not about the bikes, just going off on tangents. But that's honestly, lo- absolutely loved it. Yeah, uh, look forward well. to catching up soon. Thank you very much. Thank Thanks you. Very Cheers, much. Cheers, Cheers, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Click, buy, deliver. With remote purchasing from the two-time Motorcycle News Dealer of the Year, Colchester Kawasaki. Proud sponsors of Chasing the Racing.